My hair, it don't move. My hair, it don't move. It don't move. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? My hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair.
My hair, my hair, it don't move. My hair, my hair, my hair, it don't move. Y'all, look, y'all, look, y'all, look, y'all, look, y'all, look. Bad idea, y'all, look, hey, y'all, y'all, look. Are you tired of your hands and nails looking like this? Well, so is your man, your friends, and them bitches at your job. You know them hoes stay talking about how dusty your hands look. So why not show them some love with Loved by Verdi? The Loved by Verdi cuticle oil is just what you need to get those hands soft and supple and those nails long and strong. This light non-greasy formula easily absorbs into the skin and is formulated with amazing ingredients, including jojoba, almond, and vitamin E oil, which are packed full of antioxidants that help to promote cellular regeneration. Benefits of using the Love by Verde cuticle oil include promoting faster, stronger nail growth, healing dry, damaged skin, and preventing your nails from drying out, helping your manicure last longer. To use the cuticle oil, simply apply a drop directly to cuticles, then gently rub and massage them into the cuticle, nails, and work the excess into your hands. For best results, apply the cuticle oil before bedtime and leave it on overnight so it can fully absorb into the cuticles. Loved by Verde cuticle oil is not only for women, but men can use it too. I personally love to use it to moisturize my bald head after a fresh shave. After I apply my aftershave, I like to use about six drops of the oil and massage it into my scalp. This oil can also be used as a lubricant and protectant to help keep your man's beard soft, shiny, and moisturized. Just apply the oil to the beard after gently misting the hair with some water or leave-in spray and watch it make his beard sexy. And don't worry, fellas. Love by Verde Cuticle Oils comes in a variety of scents, including unscented. So you ain't out here smelling all sweet like her vanilla sugar scent or strawberry scent, which are my personal favorites. Now, don't you think it's time to show your hands some love? Click the link in the description and get 0% off your next order. Visit lovebyverdi.com and grab your cuticle oil and other nail and nail art essentials today. This product is an unpaid advertisement and features unpaid actors. This cuticle oil is not a treatment for hand eczema or any other skin related diseases. Cause I gotta fix the camera. Oh. I, <laughs> my, I, I look dark as hell. Yeah, here, I fi I I fixed it. and I forgot I cut it off and then turn it back on. So they can hear us. Yeah, they can hear. What's up? What's up? Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I usually come on with more energy, but tonight, am I loud enough? Let me turn this up a little bit. Tonight, I'm just feeling a little tired. Thank you, Massa. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit more. Y'all might get blasted, but um, we had a late night last night on the gaming channel, and I'm still recovering. Bro, that that was some hot tea that was given <laughs> that was served last night. If y'all missed it, I'm sorry. Look at the replay. Hey everybody! Yeah, I'm 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 sipping some wine tonight because yeah, I've been I'm I've been very uh, lethargic all day, and I ain't do shit all day. So no, we didn't. I literally slept in. <laughs> do Look, he came in basically like when I woke up at two o'clock in the afternoon. He came right up like we need to eat, and I was like, damn, we we been in the house. Damn, the damn day halfway gone, slick because it get dark at five. So it's like we just chilled. 
curly hair T say, hey girl, no Dungeons and Dragons tonight. No. <laughs> I was actually wasn't supposed to go, but... <laughs> but no, my uh, What's your Dungeons and Dragons? My friend, he canceled, so if he wasn't going, then I wasn't going to go. So oh, like, man. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm low-key kind of out of it. Yeah. We going to keep it light tonight. Um... I definitely had to come on and give y'all y'all stream tonight. Um, so whose birthday was? I saw somebody said it was their birthday. Oh, Kim Fraz, happy birthday! Hold on, I'm a little slow tonight. A little slow, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. Just give me some time. I'm gonna get there. Um, let me. Damn, everything just disappeared. Shit, hold on. Uh, let's bring that back. Let's bring. Okay. Ooh, honey, I'm I'm waiting for the. You and Aaliyah still play instruments. You were just talking about that. That's funny. We were just talking about that. Um, no, I don't. I still have my cello in the closet, but I haven't touched it. I do. I produce. So. Won't you be playing? The piano. Girl, your little whoop do 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 that ain't no fucking play. And then I play guitar a little bit sometimes when I do sample producing. You know how to play any chords? Yeah, so okay, that's how you know she really play. That's all I really know is the chord sticker. Okay, I'm so taught with that piano. I got lessons. Can you read guitar notes? Yeah, it's the same as triple clef. I mean, I play piano. So. I mean, I know you can read the notes, but do you know what no, note to play? No, not no, Okay, so you don't. All right, I just told you, don't. you. All I know okay. is tabs, nigga. All right, That's what they call okay. It. The chords. So shut that up. Rosalind, she said, can't watch the live, but we'll give a like and watch the playback. Good night, everyone, and stay blessed. Thank you so much, and have a great night. Um, Yeah, I stopped playing because after college, um, I tried to keep going. Because I really enjoyed it in high school, but um, it's a long story with that. It's kind of sad, too. But <laughs> I, I ain't trying he to... He could have been awesome, but he stopped. Yeah, nigga. Do you know why? No, I don't know. Is that wrong? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why I stopped doing that. That's why I stopped well, doing tennis. It does. I, I mean, stopped too after a, a minute. Like when I went to college, like after I, I graduated from high school, I didn't have lessons after that. I was in school, so I had the opportunity to just you know not do music or not. But I chose to still stick to it. You could have still done it. Bro. I tried it. I play. I played in the community orchestra for a couple years mm -hmm. in college, and um, that didn't really stick. Especially when I moved back home. Uh, I didn't have a car at the time, I think. That's what it was. I didn't have a car at the time. So it was it was a lot. Like, I was really, like, trying to stick. I was, like, paying money to rent this this good quality cello. And I forgot how much I was paying for that shit. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I remember it because I wasn't that the one you had to get another one shipped to you because it broke coming in. No, that was a cheap shit I bought on Amazon. Okay. Not Amazon, eBay. I got that shit from eBay. Uh, I got a cello from eBay. And I paid like one hundred and thirty nine dollars for it. They re they sent it to me. It came in this big old crate. They left the crate right at in front of the garage, which was yeah, fine. No. But then I took it inside, opened it up, and then like the cello was like snapped in half. I guess Ooh. somewhere in shipping. So I contacted the seller. I'm like, yo, um, so like shit broke. it's broken. <laughs> so they sent me another one, and they I that one arrived okay, but one of the pegs snapped in half. I don't know what the fuck they was doing in shipping. And oh, so Dominique said. I played an oboe and, and made beats. beats. Ooh, I would love to hear that. Oh, I, I can. I know you sample yourself playing it. Yeah, well, okay. no, I, I'm just trying to stay focused because, you yeah. know, I forget. So, okay, let me back. So, that, the, the cello break in, all that, that was after college. So, I went to college and I wanted to do. Um, a uh, community orchestra, so I joined a community orchestra. Uh, actually, funny thing, I was working in an inner city um, Atlanta elementary school. I was a teacher assistant, 
and I found out that they had a strings class. I was really helping um, fifth, fifth and fourth grade students with English, um, science, math, and all of that. And then I found out they had a, a strings class, so I wanted to definitely like offer you know my assistance with that as well. So I connected with the strings teacher, started helping her. She was like, hey, you know, I'm part of the um, a, a orchestra called um, Four String Four Seasons, and um, we need some cellos in our orchestra, or whatever. And I was like, yeah, okay. She was, I was like, I don't have a cello. She was like, we can find you one, blah blah blah. blah. So that's how I ended up joining them. It was a bunch of old white people, <laughs> and they was, like, <laughs> they okay, was cool though. They was. It cool be like that though. I know some cool old white people. I played D and D with. It was this old one white lady. Like this lady had to be like in her seventies, eighty. Every time I come up in there with my flat twist and my afro puff, like she used to always just love up on my hair. She was like. Wow, your hair, it, it just looks so nice. Like, yeah. I wish I could do it. Like, she just was so, like, in love with, like, natural hair. You can tell. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I did that for a couple of years. They only really had concerts, like, um, twice a year. And this is where it really just kind of went left. So um, I was in between living on campus and living at home. And I think I started the transition to moving back home. And this is when mom was like, really like being a bitch towards me. <laughs> and so I asked her like a whole two weeks in advance. I was like, my orchestra is um having their Christmas concert for the senior citizens home uh, around Christmas. I need you to take me on Friday, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, okay, that's fine. I'll take you. I think I was with her that day. What happened? No. You didn't go? I didn't go. Okay, I didn't go because the time I, like the time came for me to go, and she got an attitude with me about something petty and stupid, and she wanted to be um, vindictive and just say, I'm not going to take you. So I had no way to get there. Mm-hmm. And so I remember I had to like message the director, this long, lengthy email. It was, just, it was just a bad situation. It just didn't look good. First off, I didn't pay to join the orchestra. Like, I was supposed to be paying, but they let me join just because they needed help. And so then for, like, to do all of that and then not even show up at the final concert, it just looked bad. Like, so I just I just didn't do it anymore. It just it was just a fucked up situation. So, like, a lot of the things that I was really passionate about and that was, I, I was really, sorry, <laughs> I was really talented in, I had to, like, give it up because it was, like, I couldn't be consistent with it. Um... And I remember in high school, too, uh, you remember Mr. Bogan? I mean, you just play for fun by yourself, though. It's not the same. I tried that, too. It's just, it just wasn't the same. It, like, playing with people and being in the orchestra, it kind of pushes you, you know? So, like, to just play by myself, it's like, you can play by yourself, but you, you might be learning this shit wrong. Like, sometimes you need, like, help learning certain techniques and rhythms and things. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. It just kind of brings you out of that box. You can do. And then I think I was paying like uh, $150, $200 a month for the cello like when I was in college, and that shit was getting expensive. It was, it was just, it, it, it's a lot of time and money investment that I didn't have. Um, and then on top of it to not have like support from your family and then have to like fight your way through just to play and then fight your family to just do what you love to do. Like it was just, it was too much. So, um, yeah, I fell off. I tried to pick it up after the fact and it just like the talent just slipped through my hand, like saying like, I can't, it's, it's hard to get back to the level that I was playing at. I was in my prime with the cello. Like, um, my last few years of high school, like, if I had kept the trajectory, like, I probably could have been playing in the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra or something like that. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't that that good. I'm just saying, I probably could have worked up to that, you know, that, that skill level. But, mm. um, oh, I just realized your shirt. Simple Bitches Love Straight. It's my merch. I can't with you right now. <laughs> um and then uh high school I actually I remember my orchestra director he was really really disappointed 
in me. Um, I just lost motivation and I just didn't try. It was like I like rebelled in orchestra and like looking back on it, I didn't understand like why I was responding the way I was. But I guess like looking back on it, it was because all the shit I was going through at home, like he was he had his hopes high for me. You know, like he was like. Um, really trying to prep me for like this honor orchestra and for for auditions and things. Like, he was like trying to set it up for me because he saw so much potential in me. And then like that last like senior year where like shit hit the fan, like I just didn't have it to give yeah. because it was like every day I was like fighting for my life. So it was just like, mm. <laughs> so, man, I know how you feel. That's how I was coming kind of with tennis at one point, but then what got me back in it was college like the coach really was desperate for new players and for some reason one dude that was on the tennis team he found me on social media i guess it was like a hashtag you know where all the new freshmen come on campus you're trying to mingle and find people so it was just like he, i guess he saw my description on my, my bio and saw that i played tennis in the past i didn't change it <laughs> so he dms me he was like hey yo um are you interested do you like do you play still and i was like i i I just graduated. I played my senior year, so yeah. And he was like, well, we got a tennis team. Do you want to meet the coach? And I can set it up and blah, blah, blah. So he did all that. Coach met me. And I talked, but I, I, he could tell that I didn't really want to do it. And he never saw me play yet. So he was like, well, let me know if you change your mind. We could set something up. But this one made him really chase after me. I had, um, what happened? I think I went out to play with Jalen or something like that with some friends. It's because on the court, because it's open. And he happened to walk by and saw, he was like, so you really can play. You just don't want to play. I was like, yeah, that's kind of what it is. And he was like, nah, 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 we're going to have to set something up. We're going to have to set something up. No, it was class. I had to take a tennis course. It it was a tennis course I took. That's what it was. Let me find out you was good at tennis. I never actually seen her play. I was straight. I mean, I wasn't like a pro. Right, right. Mr. It would have been nice to see you play. I would have, I would have enjoyed that. I could have really went somewhere if Mom wouldn't have fucked it up when you had lessons. Like that was my. <laughs> Girl, I was literally young, y'all, when he was getting lessons, and she said, "No, y'all, both of y'all not going." If if she would have pushed me with the tennis, I would have stuck with it. But I didn't. I felt a little awkward. If you had came with me, I think it would have been better. Like, it was like, uh, I was just really shy, socially awkward. And that's what it was supposed to happen that day. The first day I was going to go to lessons with y'all, and then that's when you and Mom But she didn't, team. she low-key didn't want to, though. Yeah. Like, lo- I feel like low-key, like, uh, some of the shit that she would do, it would just be just because she, she did could. She because of, you know, who at the time. Oh, is yeah. that why? Because he was in the picture at the time. Oh. I feel like, cause remember when we went on that trip to Hilton Head or some So, shit? okay, basically what happened was back when I was in, like, high school or middle school or something, or something like that, um, she, like, signed me up to join, like, this tennis camp or t- summer camp situation because I told her I wanted to play some tennis. And, like, she saw me about myself, and I went, to, like, one time, and I was like, yeah, I feel out of place here. Like, mm-hmm. I just felt awkward because I didn't know anybody. Everybody knew each other, so it was just, like, a random person. But if, like, you joined with me, then it would have been, like, easier for me to, like, ease into the, you know, climate or whatever. But I don't know what guy got, Y'all got into an argument that day. It, like, it takes, it takes yeah, it nothing, nothing. It literally takes nothing, nothing for her for to be her. like, okay, fuck it. No. Yeah, we're not it. going. And that's what happens. That's it. That, that's that's how it always happens. And of course, you you like okay. Fuck that's it. how it always and happens. He, he went on his day, his day, and I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck? Like, no! I, I, I cried. I literally cried. And she's like, it's okay, but I'm like, no, I was mad at her, bro. I was like, you bitch. I, I didn't even <laughs> know you wanted to play like that, Bruh, I was jealous when you first went. I was like, that's why she signed me up because I told her I was like, I want to play like. Can I play? And she's like, yeah, you didn't. I didn't know you didn't want you wanted to play. I was like, yeah. So when she signed me up that day, the first time I was gonna go, I got into it about something, and I'm just sitting there quiet, just like. like I wonder. My what, I wonder what it was. It was something simple. I don't remember, but it wasn't nothing like serious. But she got into her feels, and she was like, you know what? Fuck it. Nobody going. Yeah, it's it like it's the emotional abuse. Like it's like the. Like she's she's so quick to like revoke like her assistance or her um just her your privileges or her love. Like 
it, it's like after a while, you just kind of become a little desensitized to the shit. So you just learn to like not expect much. That way you don't get disappointed. Like the drums. I could have played the drums. Didn't do that because that's a boy instrument. <laughs> like, legit. Like, I, oh, I had a fascination at one point. I wanted to learn the drums. I remember that. Mm-hmm. And I, your dad, your dad. My had, dad. Said, yeah, for some reason, I think I told you the story. At the old neighborhood, one neighbor down the street somewhere had a whole studio, like live instruments, like guitar, bass, drums, you name it, all in his basement set up because he played. And so I don't know how he know it. I guess he walking around the neighborhood, get to know everybody. So... I guess they hung out, and he was like... Oh, hey. I remember that. I wasn't with y'all, yeah, I think. Yeah, it was just me and him, and I oh. happened to... Yeah. The mom left me with the nigga. Yeah, she did that a lot. Yeah, she exactly. Did, she did that a lot. So, I walked with him. We go there, because he had to babysit me, I think. That's what it was. I think we were only two at the house, and I was in like, elementary school. So, he's like, go ahead, have it. He was like, you can go ahead, here's the drumstick. So, they talking on the side, and I'm just like... They got everything set up. I'm just, oh, wow. You know, just having fun. You know, I don't know how to play, but, you know, just, I miss that day. Yeah. Things were always great when she had a man around. <laughs> That's the sad thing. It's the top of her. Let me do it. Okay. Um, okay. So, it, I mean, <laughs> we didn't really get into the, the watch party situation, but uh, we actually have been thinking about, like, maybe doing, like, a little podcast situation. Where we just kind of get on and talk kind of like what we were just doing now. Yeah, I told them, bro, we, because y'all can just throw some in the chat and we can keep the conversation going. <laughs> or have somebody literally on Discord with us. Yeah, so if that sounds like something y'all would be interested in. Yep, they um, said yes to fuck. Yeah, I told her we got to, like, have, like, some topics and things. Of course, you guys are chiming in in the live chat, and that'll kind of help direct the conversation to flow. But, um... I don't know. I ain't really got the gift of gab. Or I whatever. say do a poll. Oh yeah, maybe we should do a poll. I see all yeses, but still, let's just see. Hold on. Who said that? Somebody said, "Does mom know how y'all feel?" <laughs> Probably That's not. That's cute. Probably she don't not. care. Yes and no. I feel like she 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 know what she be doing, but yeah. she don't want. Here, here's the thing. My mom doesn't want to, like, own up to her faults and her shortcomings. So, like, anytime we try to have, like, these conversations where we talk about, you know, this is how you've... Mm, you might as well. Shit. This is, how you, this is how you hurt me. This is how you held me back. This is how you affected me later on in life. Like, she runs from the conversation. She's quick to switch the, uh, the topic, the subject... And she avoids it because it's like she doesn't want to hear that. Um, yeah. She shuts down. I, mm-hmm. And I think that's where I get it from. I shut down, but not in her way. She gets destructive and kind of chaotic when she shuts down and just says, it's my way or the highway. Or she'll try to, like, flip, flip the script it, on yeah. to you and gaslight you yep. and make it seem like you're the one with the problem. So we just, over the years, we just learn to just, like, not even try to reconcile our issues with her and just let her think and feel what she wants. And we just like, I guess bond in our trauma. <laughs> that sounds toxic as fuck. <laughs> you know, the thing that she hurt, she does with me, cause she know I'm kind of like a little firecracker. She'll, Push me. She'll keep. Oh me. yeah, she. My mom likes pushing her buttons. Cause she know I'll try to shut up, but she'll just keep saying some off the wall shit that just. I can't hold my tongue on. Let's you know? all do better for our children. Yeah, I feel like we have to. You know, like it's. I I I. I don't have kids, but I right. if I if I did, you know, you can't always do everything right. You don't know like all the right things to do. But I I just feel like I would, like, make forth the best effort to, like, do the most for my children. Like, I just can't... I can't imagine, like, bringing this life into the world and then, like, just harming them, like, emotionally in, like, in a traumatic way where they're carrying that through the rest of their life. Like, I feel like as long as your children know that you tried your best, yeah. like, that's... that's can ask for. Yeah. That's I, really I feel like they can't for. ask for anything more than that. Like, uh, and as long as you're, like, open and honest with your children and, like, you 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 talk to them. 
Like, I think that's something our mom never really did with it. Yeah. Like, she never really talked to us. And then the times that she would try to talk to us, it was like, this, it's her is, talk. this is out of character, and this is kind of weird, and you never made it safe for me to talk to you, yeah. so I'm definitely not going I'm to do it to now. Um, and it's weird now because as adults, I'm the youngest, and we're all, I'm, we're basically at the house at this point, so it's just like, we still, you would think as we got older, it would be more easier to talk. But it's still not that way. It's What's her relationship way. with her mom like? Do you know? Because as far she as... She said... Well, she really wasn't really raised by her mom. Yeah, I heard that. Her I don't know what was going on with the grandmother, she but... She said she was strict, so that's why. That's well, she just, she just a, a lot of our aunties got issues with, <laughs> with rearing children and just being cold and just distant. So everybody, I don't know if maybe I think it was the grandmother. Yeah, she, she was the. Uh, you think mom, even mom and Renault, they told me they was like they told me the stories growing up. Yeah, their grandmother did not play shit at all. Like your ass was grass, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I see that's the Cook way. That fan on for me. It's, I'm like burning up right now. You can put it all the way over to one, and then you can turn it if it's like facing you. Just turn toward my legs, oh. like yeah. Yeah, I just need some air. <laughs> well, yeah, but her mom, she, I, she knew her mom, of course, but the thing is, you know, back in the days how it was, they mostly spend the time with their grandmother, and then during the summer she would go visit her mom when she came in town or whatever. So. Okay, well, I don't really know much about her childhood because she ain't open up. I don't about... know a little bit, just a little bit, because of her now, really. Oh, okay. That explains it, because she definitely ain't telling us. I mean, she was there, and she, Verno was the one that opened it up. Like, you know, during Christmas time, we go to the Verno house. The, oh, the and she just be, yeah, she just be talking. Okay. Shit, so. okay. Okay. That's it, but Mom never really told us stories like that, you know. But I didn't, Verno was the one that showed me a, a, a kid picture of her. Yeah, you know, we don't really know much about her childhood and shit. Like, we, we try to ask her, but I don't know if something traumatic happened, and she just closed that oh, she off. She said she was very shy. Quiet. That's yeah. That's literally all that's we got. Really it. That's really it. I'm like, uh, no experiences, no nothing. Okay, nothing. that's different. <laughs> she said, "I'm enjoying this podcast." <laughs> I tell you, that would be a good idea for us to do that, so people could just like listen to us and don't have to worry about. They can be at work. Oh lord, this is gonna turn into a whole red table talk. <laughs> and it's, that's what that's what the shit gonna turn okay, into. Okay, okay. <laughs> Mama wasn't the best parent. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I always, I always pay her that respect. You know, and it's it's kind of a it's kind of a hard, difficult um, feeling to like sit in because you have so much resentment um, from just like all of the things that she's done over the years, like this woman really went out of her way to really try to like hurt me and harm me. But then at the same time, it's like, here I am sitting in her house now. And you know, she's been there all these years. Like, even though she's been there, not been there, been there, not been there, you know? So, um, and you know, she's the push and pull. Yeah. It's, she has a lot of African table talk. She's like bipolar, basically. She is, and I was, I was, t- I don't know if I was having this conversation with well, you. She might be bipolar. I, I was just saying, like, she has some type of personality disorder, disorder where she's like, really, is it possible? To- Aaliyah's not speaking up. That's what it is. Aaliyah mumbles. I told her she got to project when she's speaking. I mean, the mic is over there closer to you. It's right? spe- but you still need to project because, like, it, it sounds like it, you go in and out, and then you know what? Let me do this. Y'all gonna hear everything, but let me see. Maybe this will help. <laughs> I don't wanna be loud because when I get loud, you be like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, I'm gonna just bring that down." Let me do this. Let me let me turn the suppression off, or or maybe just like lower it. Okay, time to do work, beloved. A Yala voice. <laughs> Yala fix my life. How would you talk about her today? That's Is that funny. better? Is I turn the suppression off? No suppression. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I feel I feel like um I feel like I've done the work. You know how old is your mom? Let me see, fifty three. This is sixty nine. Yeah, she's sixty nine. Yeah, she's sixty nine. Cause she was born in fifty three. Yeah. So that would make her sixty eight. Something. 
Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Got to get the calculator out. So how you doing? Glad you guys realized the issue. Yeah, you know, and like I had to... 68, thank you. Everyone's like, 68, you dumbass. <laughs> I, I definitely had to um, grow up early, and I think maybe that's why um, I kind of became so mature, so young. Because it was like I had to grow up. Like, I didn't, I didn't have the opportunity to fuck up and mess up and screw up my life, and my mom beat her to pick up the pieces because she was never there to pick up the pieces. If anything, yeah. she was scattering me out to the, the to the wind, you know? Like, so I, I had to, like, just be um, self-aware. Um, but, yeah. Mm. Oh, but, yeah, I was saying, I feel like mom has definitely has some type of, like, personality disorder because, like, I just feel like her grass and her perception of reality is skewed and like I don't I feel like the way that she views the world isn't actually the way the world is you know yeah um but my mom's been through a lot too you have to remember that too my mom's been through a lot too um she is a army veteran I dealt with a lot of bullshit with that um, and you know, if y'all really interested, if you're really interested, you can go and buy her book. <laughs> the wow. same book I threw out. Y'all can go buy the book. Um, it's called A Cry for Justice by Jesse Hayes. Would she ever accept help? No, she wouldn't. <laughs> she, the woman gets therapy. <laughs> But she ain't. Yeah, right. She not doing it the right Drop way. Drop the link. Let me see. It's for the money. It's for the check, boy. Let me see if I can find this shit. I'm just sending her her money right now. <laughs> I mean, she's not the best writer, so unless you like reading a bunch of um, quotes and sayings from everybody else. <laughs> Because that's, I mean, the way she talked is the way she wrote this book. How much this shit is? Oh, this shit cheap. You can get that shit for $10. Yeah. Look, I, I ain't really want to promote her book. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I felt some type of way when, like, she was, like, going in on... Uh, me being on YouTube and me putting myself on the internet and then all of a sudden when she get her little publication and shit, she's like, oh, I'm going to give you a copy and you can tell your 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 viewers about it on your YouTube. No, the fuck I'm not. The fuck you think this is? You mean the same YouTube you ain't like me doing, you ain't like me being on all them years? No, Mr. Free said the paper book. It's forty four ninety five. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck buying that shit. Let me see what the reviews say. Oh, on there. Let's see if we know anybody. Darlene. Excellent book to read. That must be her coworker. Why you gotta feel like that? Man, did you read any of it? No, I didn't read it. I read an excerpt of it, and it was written terribly. Like... Like, she's, you know how she speaks very redundantly? Yeah. That's how she wrote the book. It's very redundant. And then, like, even the way she describes the book, it's, like, it's vague. Like, if you read the back of the book, can you see the back of the book? Okay, so let, let's see. Let's see what the back of the book says. Like the majority of institutions in America... The U.S. Postal Service policy, practice, and or procedure appear neutral? What? And or? It either... What you got? Truthfully, it has a disproportionately negative impact on members of a racial or ethnic minority group. What group are you talking about? She's trying to sound so educated, bro. <laughs> Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, an injustice anywhere 
is an injustice everywhere. Inequalities, regardless of their basis, should not be swept under the rug. Any discrimination is intolerable. And as citizens, we must all make a serious attempt to do away with it. So why are you so homophobic, though? That, that you ain't making sense, sis. If we remain docile and inactive, the disparity will continue to grow, and our great nation, no doubt, will diminish to irrelevancy. Girl, shut the fuck up. Bruh. America is a great nation. However, oh, okay, come on, punctuation. Let's not forget that her strength is built on hope, faith, and all honesty through free labor of slaves. Today, racial disparity affects the innocent, guilty minority. Our judicial system is in urgent need of reform. Our Ooh, nation... That uh, MLK quote is wrong. Ooh! <laughs> Our nation is confronted with serious moral, ethical, constitutional, and I'm economic already, challenges. Yeah, no, nope, no, nope. this is how the whole book is written. I'm trying to tell you, son. We have to work together for systematic changes. This book documentary validates that as a race of people, we are still plagued with persistent racial disparities. Systematic racism, She's which causes it. serious physical as well as psychological consequences. It discloses judicial tyranny and the corruption of the judicial justice system by way of consistent psychological manipulation and really deception true. and unconstitutional laws that infringes on minorities and Pro se litigants' rights like cancer. Racism has the potential to destroy. What the fuck does this book mean? Like, what is this book talking about? I don't, I read all this and I don't know what this shit is about. <laughs> you literally just gave a speech and just quoted everybody and just talking about how much work needs to be done. But what, what, like, how does this help me determine if I want to get this book or not? And I asked her, I was like, who are you writing this book for? This woman said, for people who want to learn about history. I said, what have you done that's documented in this book that's historic? She was like, you know, college students that want to learn about law and history. They have textbooks for that. Um, they don't need to read your life story to, to learn that. So, again, who are you marketing this book to? Because that needs to be where your advertising needs to focus on. She couldn't tell me that. She just wrote a book. And I'm like, you didn't you didn't think about this? Is she a lawyer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Get off is it about the history or the post office? The post the office. The post office. And in, in her <laughs> You know what? Pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Yeah, let me um <laughs> So yeah, if y'all wanna learn more about my mama, y'all y'all buy her book because I definitely ain't read that shit. She actually gave us a little dedication in the front of the book and I was like, Oh, that's cute for the fans, but oh, <laughs> huh? Dedication. She wrote a dedication. Talking about she dedicated this book to her children and all, all these people. And... Yeah. Okay. All right. With that being said, we gonna go ahead and um leave your mom alone. Who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> Yo. Who gonna check me, boo? <laughs> we gonna open up the request. Okay, Lord. okay. We gonna, we gonna keep it light tonight, y'all, because I, I, I feel like I'm in it, but I'm not all the way in it. You know what I'm saying? 
she's publishing. I'm not, so kudos to her. You're right. You, we got to give it up. We got to, you know what I'm saying? I didn't open up the request. Slow down. Slow down. Bruh. Now, it's fine because I actually was about to open it up. I just didn't get to it yet. But let me, <laughs> let me. There it go. All right. All right. We got Ebony. We got Tupo. We're going to do about 10 or 15 videos, y'all, because I don't know. We got two posts. Yeah, post office. Any, honestly, any goddamn postal service, like delivery. We... So is the post office racist? Well. Back in the day it was for them like in her generation. But I, 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 don't, I can't say now. I, I don't work there now. But it was tough. I've heard through other people too, not just her, her story. Hell, our old postal uh, mail lady. It's funny, I delivered to her last week, y'all. And she lived in a nice neighborhood. She's retired now. But a white lady, nice. And always, you know, used to wave at me every time she delivered our mail. And so I happened to just, she came outside when I gave her a package. And she was like, she looked at me. I looked at her. I said, do I know you? She's like, you look familiar. I said, do you happen to deliver mail? She was like, I used to. And so, yeah. But she was saying, yeah, she had to leave there. It wasn't treating them right. So, I wouldn't say it's a race thing, but they don't treat their workers right in general at all. They don't. To this day, I still don't know what the fuck she tripping about the post office for. But I will say some, yeah. something about being let off. Um, probably on some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I, that's probably what it was. Did she ever win that court case? What happened with she that? She won the um, not the post office, but the military. That's the one she won. So what happened with the the post office? Won that one. That's the one that was supposed to be the big money. But she ain't saying nothing about it. Is it dead? Like, I guess it is. Shit. Did she give up? I like, guess, look, last I heard, they was trying to settle, and she ain't take the shit unless she was lying. See, so people say, I was uh, uh, we back. can't watch the people's court. That's TV. Uh, uh, y'all keep asking for this video. <laughs> But even, uh, now, if you on the Patreon, then we can definitely check it out. But, um, yeah, we can't watch TV on here. I think I've seen that one, though. I think I went back and watched that episode on Patreon. Is that the one with the um, the sister lock titian starting the woman's uh, sister locks with glue? And... The lady, yeah, I, I remember watching that. I sure do. I remember watching it. But yeah, they don't give a fuck. Even though they got the union, sometimes the union out here, they don't even do what they're supposed to do for their workers. So. Um, call me Joey. Did you want to switch it to another one? The next Patreon is on Saturday, actually. Uh, I'll tell you my thoughts on that. Okay, I'm about to go ahead and close this. Uh, <laughs> Get it in now, because I'm about to close Get it. it. Get it in. Get we it about in. to pull out. Pull out. We pulling pull out. out. Pull out. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Christmas shopping. I haven't done that in I don't even know how long. I ain't Christmas shopping for nobody. Look, what? you get money from me. That's how I, I keep it simple. <laughs> Unless I know exactly what you want. Like, say... What, is, what would you want for Christmas? I got I the know. D38, and it worked so well. I'm in my husband hair. I was like... It was like butter. Change mine to your choice, please. I got you, Kim. Okay. We gonna go ahead and close it. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. It still ain't closed. Hold on one more time. Oh, that actually triggers it? It's supposed to, but my stream deck ain't acting yeah. the way it's supposed to. Damn. So it's supposed to make the sound, and then it's supposed to make the open request disappear. Bitch. Well, I just get money. I'm like, look, unless you a little kid, I give you some toys, but if you grown, like, mm. Yeah, I spent $50 on um, Ethan's birthday. 
They're such great kids, though. I'm you know like, what you can do with fifty. That's a my, that's my phone bill right now, bro. <laughs> I'm just I'm just proud of them. Change mind of your choice. I got you, Joey. I'm just proud of them. You know what I'm saying? Like they just they're really great kids. They do their work. Um, they do what they're supposed to do. Every time I you know take care of them, I ain't never got no issues out of them. No, I feel like that's your nephew. Like I said, kids is different. You would legit probably buy gifts for them. And then I don't buy them nothing the whole year. You know, like. <laughs> So I'm like, yeah, it was fifty dollars. I, I make that shit in tips. Let me come in your family, Momo. Look, <laughs> we buy on a budget over here. <laughs> um, I don't think I need to check the uh the count because I've been keeping count. So I think I got fifteen, sixteen videos, something like that. So we just gonna go ahead and get up in that thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're going to do our first Super Chat. Let me go ahead and pull it up so I can keep track of everything. Ooh, child, this wine hitting. But what we do for our mom, she loves Macy's, so we get her, like, uh, Everybody get, you know, when Henny told my son getting her um, a Macy's gift card, because I'm like, yeah, the, gifts, yeah, the, gifts, the gifts she got her, she don't even use. I'm like, girl, you wasting your time. She was like, it don't matter. It's the principal. I'm like, yeah, I guess. Because my mom always give um, her kids something for Christmas because she liked them too. But my child, kids, if boy. she knew they ain't like going to church, <laughs> they like church. Yeah. <laughs> Take y'all to church. church. She like, y'all better pray. <laughs> okay, bro. You be trying to tell me, do you pray? When, she, when the last time she said that? Not recently, but she used to say it a lot. All look, the time. Well, look what praying done for you, ma'am. No, I'm just kidding. Bro, oh, no. No. Thank you, Naturally Me. Victory. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you, everyone, for uh, the video request. Let's see. We have Alexis Ebony with a V, a new reveal. Uh, thank you so much. Let me see. I don't think I watched this one. Okay, I started to watch it, but I didn't watch it. Okay. Your mom in the church. The church. She was. But I got my opinions on that. <laughs> as long as you find the right church, okay. I don't want I don't want to shit on nobody, you know, religious yeah. beliefs or nothing. But just the the shit that I've observed over the years going to church. I'm sorry, I'm not giving my last dollar to no church. <laughs> I'm just not like, especially no church that ain't giving back to the community. Not doing that. Mm -mm. If you let. So when is the last time you prayed? Hmm. I mean, I prayed kind of every. You day. don't pray for nothing. Now you sound like mom. Mm -mm. <laughs> you sound like mom. Somebody need to say it. I do pray every day before I leave the house. What you do? You know what a prayer is, right? You don't gotta get on your knees. Every oh, so you don't? Home. You too good to get on your knees? You get on your knees. Okay, well when you're when you, you aching and you dying and you on your knees, you on your don't knees. be getting on your knees then. You your don't knees. be getting on your knees then. You get on your knees. Cause you ain't bothered to get on your knees when you was fine. Shit. Shut up, sir. No. Right, sir. No. Sir, get get him, Lola. Mm mm. Sir. Mm -mm. I did. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ev and today I have a really short video for you guys, but I thought it would just be fun to record because it's going to be a big reveal for the both of us. I don't know how this is going to look. I don't know how this is going to go. That's great. But we're That's here now, no. okay? All right. We are All right, we here. are. We're okay. here and now we're, we're there. It. This one is That's cute. Of I love it. Plate. This so turtleneck with the jewelry. Like the aura bracelet like the it does. So. The band is uh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, honey. Oh, no. This ain't it. <laughs> oh, too bad. Oh, 
this is not cute. It's this not? It's not cute. Now, I didn't know what it was going to look like all shrunk up. I knew my hair was real, real short, right, when straightened. So now that it's, it's not all cute. shrunk up and everything, I just... I don't know, fam. This is why she's I don't used think to long hair. hair. Like her hair like is that her hair is that her bag. It's, That's what know, it is. It is it's serving to me, it even with the sense. with the sealy twist right. shit. It's this is not cute. <laughs> the point the point. And obviously right. I'm not talking about the texture and I'm not talking the about lies. my natural hair. I'm talking about the shape. Because my hair went this was straightened, so Oh, let me speed this up, because we gotta go. We got to go. <laughs> I don't think so, y'all. I, so. I love you, girl. Okay. So we're back with the clips. I halfway don't even know if I need clips like that, because my hair is so, like, it's so short. And, of course, I wear black, right? It's so short. I'm going to just try and hold my hair up and see how that goes. Now, my hair has been this short before uh, when I first went natural, but it hasn't been this short in a very long time. And I still, I don't even know if it was this short when I first big chopped because I had transitioned for a year first. She's so pretty. Um, I do remember to me. when my hair was shorter though. I did, um, I did twist my hair into smaller twists. So maybe I should go back to doing them smaller. Oops, wrong way. Just because <laughs> um, the smaller the twist, the more definition you're gonna get. Okay, well that was a whole back section right there. Let me do one side at a time. I don't know, y'all. I feel like I have had my hair straightened for. I, I want to say like had the fro. was it What's six up? weeks <laughs> five weeks I told y'all in the last oh, video, that I was the tangling though yeah. which is what I did. <laughs> it got pretty uh oily greasy <laughs> way down I was going back and forth all right we're just gonna go to the reveal thoughts like the first shift it might not be I just value my time a lot more I would much rather not spend my time doing my hair it's definitely taking a back seat. I do want to start a new series on my channel, though. The it's turtleneck, more, um, the lip color, her skin, it's everything. Based. Just because, y'all know, that's the space I'm going into. And I think an inner beauty journey will always be more important than an outer beauty journey. I think you don't that's kind of how it starts, though. Big. At least for me, <laughs> it started off with yeah, a little up as a spirit journey. So yeah, now, I'm um, more <laughs> spirit than I was uh, hair. Spirit and soul, more spirit and soul than I am hair. Not that y'all have to take the same priority list, but I do. Ooh, I don't know, I just, the that's cut. Where my heart is now. But okay, we're looking cuter by the minute. I am going to um, finish the rest of my unravel off camera, and I'm gonna be back, and you guys will see <laughs> what I officially look like. But I, it's cuter. It's cuter. The twist had me worried, y'all. I'm still a little bit worried, but it's cuter. <laughs> we're back. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I was ready for this. I like the angles. What do y'all think? Ooh, <laughs> it's, we can see her <laughs> jawline, like her bone me. structure. I, like I want a little bit more hang time. Y'all know I've never been a fan of the gappy look in the back. That's never been for me. But this is more angled. And now that it's out of the twist. It's giving, I'm a, I'm a diva. I'm a diva. I'm gonna do three. Yes. <laughs> 180, whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're here now. We are here now. I like it. I also think it's still growing on me. I'm not used to seeing my hair this short, and I, I, Looks good I don't know how to maintain this. You know what I really don't want is for this to uh, coil up on itself because my hair is super coily too. So we gonna see, and y'all know my shrinkage is cray, so it's only gonna shrink up some more from here. <laughs> but uh, we're, I think we're doing good. I like it. I like it, I and it's and it's still this growing. I do feel yeah. cute now though, because before. Them twists was they had me worried. Okay, yeah, no, that's why I like her too. <laughs> I remember I was like I was drunk when I first too. watched I her videos, and I was just like going in below. like y'all need yeah, to down subscribe, down subscribe to okay. her. And <laughs> also, don't forget to check out Anna Luisa once again. These pieces, I will leave them. Oh, that's the hair you talking about, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, bitch, yeah. Yes. Mm. Do the best. Do the one. <laughs> like a little mole right there in the middle. And it looks good without all the unnecessary edges. Or booty marks. Is it considered a booty mark? I like it right there. Um, is it? Is it a beauty? That's a mole, right? I think it's a mole. Yeah. yeah. It's still cute. It, whatever. Shit. It is what it is. All right. <laughs> you say you see Whitney. Whitney Hughes. Ah! 
every what? Well, um, no. I do see that though. <laughs> that was a witness. I'm video. not gonna sing it. Well, it's well. not in me. Drugs. Drugs, nigga. Drugs. <laughs> I'm, ooh, damn, bitch, you're not a porn? This all, this all I'm drinking tonight, because you're trying to get me. saying that now, nigga. It's like, so, right. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh, maybe we should read the comments. Damn, we, we went through that in like five Down minutes or less. Description box. Let's see. That uh, smell weird. Maybe it's the essential oil throwing off the smell. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's good, but it's a wild smell. Let me see. Oh, I can see some some names here. Some familiar some familiar names. The cut looks good, straight and curly. Yes, I recently got tired of how long it takes to do my hair and was thinking about being a straight natural and getting a blunt cut. Then found a method that has me out in about in two hours. See some curls. See some curls is the online library if anyone is interested. No, I'm not allowing you to pump me full of bullshit. <laughs> right, Look, Angel said you already slurring your words. It's the shade. <laughs> I still ain't heard from nobody. I ain't heard from um. What's their name? Um, I ain't heard from them. I ain't heard from... Shit, I can't remember nobody. What was her name? Jennifer? Ain't nobody said nothing to me yet. I know they don't see my shit. Because it's clear she get, she get on the video. She ain't saying nothing, no. Mm. Don't stop being messy. Juicy Smolier was just found guilty. Huh? Remember the guy I was telling you about that created that whole fabricated that whole hate crime situation? Oh, yeah. That's his name? Now, his name is Jesse Smollett. Oh, okay. But we, we call him Smollier. Like, so when a bitch be out here lying and creating a whole conspiracy, <coughs> Gorilla Glue Girl, it's called a Smollier. Like, that's that's what it is now. Oh, is the wine hitting? You think? Nigga? But what about the other Karens that be be making stuff up? No, I get it, and you know, I I I want him to get off too. Like I'm not celebrating. I know I was clapping and doing a little sound. I ain't celebrating that he was found guilty, but um, nigga, why? Like why? Why? It do sound a little bit juicy smelling. Why? Smelly. <laughs> that juicy, juicy crab. <laughs> Dave Chappelle started calling him that. Oh, okay. Um, did y'all ever do a video on Gorilla Glue Girl? I did it on the last stream last week. Um, I covered it in the intro and gave my thoughts. He going to the pokey. Um, Damn. yeah. Um, I I hope he doesn't get too much time. I, you know, I get it. I, I kind of feel both ways about it. It's just juicy smolier. Oh, you know what? Y'all is too much. Um, I'm kind of torn. I'm not a big fan of his, obviously. Um... I don't hate him or feel some type of way towards him, but I just juicy from the pre uh, the PJs. I just yeah, uh, juicy. They, uh, Super. I I'm just yeah. I, I I'm too inebriated to give a well thought out elaborate response to the situation. But um, I hope he's all right, you know. 
I hope he, I hope he, I hope he good. I mean, he was fine when he was talking about people was punching him and throwing nooses and bleach on him and shit. So shit, fuck that shit. Oh, lying ass heifer. The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. The I'm lies. telling you. Trifling. Uh-uh, nigga, you better leave my cup alone, right? You don't need this. All right. Let me get my damn glass back, too. Thank you. We're going to be moving on. I feel like I'm doing a lot of shouting right now. Okay. And, um... It's lit. It seems like his career was just starting to boom. Yeah, he just threw it all away. He just threw it away. But why? Why, Jesse? Why? Just to be calling yourself the gay Tupac? Why? What was the reason? <laughs> Okay. We're gonna we're just gonna move on. Um I hope everything works out for him. We're gonna be doing our next super chat. Um I'm sorry, cash app requests. This one comes from Erica and she would like us to watch Glam by Mary, Seven Braids in a Day. All right. Thank you so much. Let me give you your hearts. Thank you so much for blessing my bank account. Bye. And let's see. Um, anybody got any special plans for the holidays? Maybe we'll try to do like our podcast situation like the week of Christmas. When, when does Christmas fall on? What day is it? Damn, you can tell we don't give a fuck. I mean, when you grown and you ain't got no kids, it's like, Christmas for what, bitch? Right, I buy myself <laughs> Christmas for I what? Want, basically. Ooh, Jasmine going to Disneyland. It's on a Saturday. Okay, that's perfect then. We'll we'll try the whole podcast situation on on that Thursday. Christmas Eve dinner on the twenty fourth. Working on Christmas Day to get that double pay. Yeah, I <laughs> All right, wait, hold up. Stressful day at the salon. Ooh. Damn, girl, you was putting in work. See, this is what I don't want to do. I, I don't want to be that stylist all day braiding. Now, see, this this how you get carpal tunnel. People be like, do you get carpal tunnel? Do your hands lock up? Do your hands nice. like, I don't know. Because, see, I was going to do a video on this. And maybe I will, but I just don't feel like it. You get carpal tunnel most more so from doing repetitive motions with your hands constantly, like for long periods of time. I do different things with my hands. I'm retwisting locks. I'm doing braids. I'm doing flat twists. I'm doing updos. I'm doing like style that. I'm doing like I'm I'm always mixing it up, and like I don't ever like do a lot of strenuous styles that put a lot of wear and tear on my body um for the most part my styles don't get too too intricate to the point where i'm like bent up braiding like this like i'm not no like that hurts she has a team of braiders okay that's what's up but chances are that's all they do all day <laughs> Um, so when that's all you do all day, you know, there's little exercises and things that you can do. Make sure if you are a braider that does this, you know, for long periods of time, um, stretch your wrists, you know, just kind of push it against the wall, bend it back, hold it for like 10 seconds, bend it forward, hold it for like 10 seconds, roll your wrists, um, do little exercises in between. Give your hands a break in between. Um, like, just do just do little things to just, like, keep up with your body. Because, like, I've even thought about getting my hands insured. Like, because at this point, bitch. Oh, we're, we're drinking soda, huh? <sighs> um, 
Cause like my hands is my money maker. So if like somebody go and fuck up my hands, bitch, I'm getting I'm getting some coins. Like, cause now I can't work. We got a problem. I can't work cause it because of you. So you gonna have to pay. <laughs> All right, anyways, let me quit running my mouth. Um, and let's check it out. Let me let me pin it. Let me pin it. Let me pin it. Because I thought about that, too. All the time I've been skating and shit, I'm like, oh, I can't fall on my hands. I can't mess up my feet. I got to be able to stand up in, at the chair. Like, I be thinking about shit like that. I remember when I cut my finger, the whole side of my finger open. When I was skating, yeah, I was doing like a, a spiral and that's where you like glide on one foot and you grab and hold your leg like behind you. Um, Damn, nigga. My frames is made of stainless steel and my it's finger steady. caught the edge as it slipped out from my hand and it sliced a chunk of my finger. And it was like... <laughs> It was, like, wide open. I was literally looking at the white mead and, like, looking at the blood oozing out. Honestly, like, there's been times, like, I wore the uh, Naruto headband and I did, like, a spin or a jump or something and my hand came up and, like, swiped the headband and, like, it literally sliced my finger to the point where I couldn't even feel it and then, like, I'm skating. I'm like, what's this cold wetness on my hand? I'm like, oh, that's my blood. I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. <laughs> Do you still skate? Yeah, I do skate. Um, it's been kind of hard. First off, I've gained weight. I was wearing a Naruto headband. It it has a metal plate on it. And the edges of the plate was sharp. Like, um, and so my, I since filed down the edges so that it doesn't happen anymore. But yeah, um, just be careful if you go and get a Naruto headband, because if you rub your finger on it the wrong way, like, you getting sliced. Like, a clean cut. Like, yeah, we're, we're drinking pink Moscato, and we was drinking some red sweet wine or something like sweet that. Red. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? He plead guilty and got, like, 10 days after he alleged beat the poor girl for hours. Hold up. What are we talking about? Anyways, yeah, I um I still skate. Um I try to skate at least once or twice a week. Um it's I've gained weight, especially over Thanksgiving break. So now I'm sitting at I'm sitting comfortably. Don't get it. I'm sitting I'm sitting comfortably at 230 pounds. Okay. And um that whole like, <laughs> stupid. Okay, now that I weigh more, it's putting a lot of um, strain and stress on my knees. I'm feeling, and so what I can't. Doing on me, shit. Huh? My knees don't. You better start doing some stretching. I do. Or I stretch. But I, I need to stretch afterwards. I stretch before. You me. too young to be getting sore this quick. Damn job, nigga. Well, Shit. you you better get, go to a chiropractor or something. You better work something out. I just need a good rub down on my legs, boy. Well, you figure that out. You gonna give me a massage? I'll pay you. I'm not <laughs> touching your body. I just said my legs, nigga. Y'all, she felt some type of way because she, I told her if she become a vegetable, I'm not washing her ass. Like... I'm not wiping her ass. I'm not washing her ass. Like, I will find somebody for you. But I'm just not doing it. You can start off slowly with walks. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. <laughs> now, the issue with me, y'all, I drink a lot of beer. So, that's really what it is. Because I work out every damn day at work. When I tell you them hills, we got to walk up and run up. Why? Girl, that ain't no workout. You, you want to do my job, nigga? Hell no. Exactly. You be sweating in that hole. That is a workout, nigga. My heart is speeding. So <laughs> I do have a gym membership, and when I was going, I was keeping my weight under control. I was managing it. However, um, I don't like the gym. The gym's not fun for me, and the people at the gym are weird. So I'd rather work out at home. 
So I got a membership on this uh, VR app called Supernatural. And um, I don't know if anyone's interested. I don't know. Maybe oh, y'all got Walk VR. to the mailbox. <laughs> no, I, I wish. You, do you, I work for Amazon. We can't test the mailbox. That, that is a, a felony. So. What? Yeah, we can't test the mailbox. We can't put anything in the mailbox. Nobody. Unless you're a postal service delivery person. You can't. UPS can't do it. FedEx oh, can't do it. Oh, that's interesting. You're not supposed to. Sometimes they do it and they don't say nothing, but you're not supposed to. All right, so just 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 to share, I joined this a membership. It costs like eighteen ninety nine a month. Um, you have these trainers and these videos. They record. They help you with stretching. They walk you through workouts, and you do these things where you kind of like punch and hit the targets, kind of like Beat Saber or like um. Whatever, but you do it to music. I had to mute it. We need it. I had to mute it, but um, yeah, I did a workout um earlier this week, and my heart rate was up there at like one seventy, and I was like, "Bitch, I've never seen my heart rate get that fucking high," but it was pretty intense. So I tried at least um if I said if I'm not I'm gonna keep my gym membership. I'm just not gonna go. I'm like if I'm not going to go to the gym. Yes, I'm like if oh y'all y'all can't see because Aaliyah blocking. Move out the way. What you gonna do to me? I'm just gonna move you. Move, bitch. You need to move. Oh, so um, what was I saying? No, the woman is not the target. <laughs> the woman is not the target. Let me. Sh- they will have his ass on here. He's like, yeah, he is gay as hell, yeah. but he is so much fun though. So he walk you through the stretch. See, I'm doing the stretches with him. And you get to, like, go in these, like, landscapes all over the world and shit and work out. It's actually really dope. They, like, have you, like, working out to, like, these hits and everything. So it's dope. It's dope. Um, But, yeah. So I do that. This is, like, an easy workout, so... I'm like, yeah, you got to do something. like, And, you know, I skate a lot, but I don't skate as much because, like I said, my boots don't fit anymore, and they hurt after, like, an hour, so I can't really skate as consistently or as as hard as I usually do. So I was like, I got to supplement it with something else. And besides that, I think my body is, for the most part, getting used to skating. So, yeah, now I'm kind of, since I like to play video games, I try to... They have you squatting and shit. I try to do things to keep my body moving. Um, y'all know I have a gaming channel. I sit on my ass and play video games for hours and hours. Um, so I'm going to do this as well as some other games. Um, one game I'm trying to get back into is... Uh, I'm actually going to play this sometime this weekend. Thrill of the fight. Baby, when I tell you this shit will have you burnt the fuck out. I see your titties. Yeah, you're going to see it. <laughs> like, you literally in the ring boxing. Like, I'm putting in work. Oh, shit, y'all can't see. Let me move out the way. Hold up. Right, you in the way now. I'm, I'm putting in work. I'm putting in work, and I'm knocking his ass out, Look son. at this nigga. I can't with him right now. Oh, my belly was big. <laughs> was pretty, boy. I see your nipples. I have nipples. Like, where is this supposed to go? You must have been cold. My nip? No, I have nipples. Like, they... nipples. don't touch my nipples. I told you that's my spot. <laughs> Nigga, it's your weird ass. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at his face. You were, Red you too. The, you were his... just swinging. You hit like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and stay like a damn bee, bitch. Bro, I can't, bro. Damn. <laughs> you about to pass me Yeah, he hell. punched me the fuck out. Like, Ooh, bitch. I'm tired now. Look, I done worn myself out all these damn punches. Get his ass. I had to stop playing this game because it threw out my shoulder and my back. Like, Look. if you don't pull them punches, turn the sound on. Let me see. Get up, Craig. Let me Get see. Get up, Craig. <laughs> Get up, Craig. <laughs> Come on. I was juicy <laughs> back then. I can't, bro. Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. 
Girl, get your ass back in there. Uh, yo, I can die, bro. The fuck just get happened? Up, get up. Let me see how does how does round end? <laughs> yeah, if you if you get motion sick easy. You coach. I did this for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right, because you know. You know this work I done put in. Ew, why you look like that? Leave my coach alone. That nigga look like main bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm I saying? This prize money, me and you. We 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 touring the, the world. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you looking at you like this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's time to go? All right, let me fasten this back up. Y'all, this this really feels real. <laughs> oh, round two? Round two? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Bitch! Back up! Back up, bitch! Big up, bitch! Ooh, Lord, what the fuck is happening? I ain't scared you, bitch. I ain't scared you, bitch. Hey, what? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Damn! Pull the punches back! <laughs> oh, shit! Pull that nigga out, though. Hell no. You gonna be watching here video. I'm sir. sorry. I want to see how this ends. <laughs> He mad, boy. I'm lighting that face up. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fucking me up. Knocked out now. You and these swings. See, I was, I was throwing everything into them punches. Ooh. Okay. All right. He on the goddamn thing. I wish I had my heart rate monitor on to see how. how oh shit! I forgot to put it on tonight. Oh well, it don't matter. I ain't putting that shit on. All right, we gonna go ahead and pull out and get back to Glam by Mary. That was just a little, little situation. If you like that, you know, check me out, Black Gamer God. I play all sorts of games and shit. You know, sometimes we just. You here like a bitch. Sometimes we just be chilling and shit. You know what I'm saying? I right, check your boy out. All right. Check. That was funny. All right, let's go. Oh, we. Hey guys, welcome to another day of vlogmas of me being or attempting to be consistent. Hopefully, this lasts more than a week. But let's see how it goes. So today, God damn, I'm gonna have a couple of hairs. Them in these little hats. Brewing, and I'm gonna be showing you guys just a little. Ooh, that ad. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Ooh, Jesus. Let me let me stop. The nigga so is coming out of me right today quick, because, um, Let me let me God, divert so my eyes. A couple of um. Can anybody see that ad? All that chairs are good. Can you stop? So today I have to say it. And actually, oh, they over in Nigeria. Okay. Um, as I mentioned previously, I typically like to stay behind the scenes and just do more of like the management and marketing and content. Oh, y'all can't hear. I'm sorry. The music was so damn loud. When we're overbooked, I have to step in and um, assist the girls with a style. And the style that I took on for the day was rope twist. Who is so clean um, okay, so in there? Okay, so we have two rope twists going on. So the one that we're blow drying her hair, she was getting medium sized rope twist. And then the lady at the far, far end of the salon, oh, her, she was getting small mid back rope twist. So that's what you see us doing. We had a team of three on her hair and then some other girls joining to finish so probably a total of maybe four oh oh i five. hate this i hate when you got twists going in one direction and going in the other it just irritates my soul like mm, i'm sorry that would that would bug me it's visually jarring at some point at most um, and then for the team of the medium if, size, if I'm gonna jump in and assist somebody braiding, like I'm gonna twist in the direction that you twist it, even if I don't feel comfortable twisting in that direction, like because that, like nothing's worse than just seeing that. At least for me, like most people don't give a fuck. That I was doing, I had two other girls with me. Have you ever gotten your hair braided by the Africans? So a total of four girls. 
um, I wonder why. For me, I, didn't want I was like the only one. Why you ain't want no braids? For me. I didn't and get braids until so I came to you, stylist nigga. that was streaming and you know preparing the hair why? for you know the finish. They need braids from Africans if you do. <laughs> I'm saying, but why you ain't never and, uh, got it? This, we're just doing a box did. braids. Um, this hair. beautiful lady here to get before their braids the chop, done. The um, the I think yeah, I think the color we're using. Okay, she kind of loud. We probably can't hear you. Let me turn her down. I'm mistaken. It's like a wine, but not like a loud wine color. I don't know what like she's talking about right now. It don't matter. Color. It's so pretty. Complimented her skin so well. They guarantee um, the length so of service at this salon, which is lady. which um, I've never so seen for a braiding salon. service so before. Uh, okay, so my favorite hairstyle. Oh, okay. Today, you guys and I yeah, because it's, it's and four like, people up in um, your head. That were my two That's dope, were though. You know what I'm saying? They can get you in and out. Like. So we did two stitch braids. Um, some people, some people like, you know, you purple. getting in and out. Yeah, some I people prefer you taking your time. Um, and in terms of like the color, because honestly, I would have gone either way. But they were both very, very beautiful, very lovely. And I really enjoyed watching those services being done. And I'll show you guys in a bit. So for this small twist that we're doing here. Oh, um, that I shit is so hard in your hands. Because the footage I had wasn't clear. And I only had the footage for Instagram. So maybe I'll upload the final result for Instagram, but I wasn't able to. Get I was just wondering, like most girls like getting content. braids. I've even seen a lot of studs wear braids. I was just wondering why she was never into it. They like all oh, these. Hell no. Yeah, I ain't rushing. It's gonna take as long so as it takes. <laughs> for the rope twist, you can't rush I've art. So many times, if you guys are you know consistent viewers of my content you've probably seen the rope twist tutorial a gazillion times on my channel or how i started so make sure you refer back to those videos Ooh, look at her cutting all her hair i found that a lot of stylists in nigeria don't really know how to do rope twist um so, but that's something i've been trying um how the fuck they don't know how to do have, rope twist um, i have one two staff that are very good at rope twist they can start and then um everybody else can just do the normal twist but yeah i'm it really trying to get them to learn uh rope twist because it's becoming quite popular a lot of people are requesting it but no oh come on phoenix if you're stylist in lagos go and learn it because wait a minute oh shit the braids like is said, tight it, so it's always something to have in your back pocket like it's god from, damn you know, so this is a stitch braids i was telling you guys about this is the first one this is the one that was done with black hair and then i'll show you guys shortly the one that was done with purple hair so you guys can let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite um and yeah they both look super neat very pretty only difference was like the color and uh, if you're more of a colored babe you probably choose a purple if you're more of a simple chic babe you probably oh you know her head was numb when you can feel your heartbeat after your head is braided <laughs> no you legit can feel that shit so my most favorite thing about my stylist is I'm how they pay attention to details um when they're braiding they're hair they're super super like on like so detailed like for instance now you have a client with a different color of braiding hair as opposed to their natural hair and they right right off the bat they know okay we have to tuck they can't the twist in the same direction now and that's not a skill that a lot of people no have. no i'm not allowing no, you i'm not allowing but you to pump me full of bullshit can make a break cycle trying to see what works and what doesn't work so um yeah i'm still this is what my six months into the hair or the salon business and i've learned so much oh my god i have learned so much um, a salon business. You want more food? Running a salon business in Nigeria. Yeah. They're two very different things, right? So the things that you right. I need to get my snack. Worry about in their salon in the U.S. are not things that I worry about in my salons all the time. In I almost the, yelled at one braider so that so wanted to cut the loose hairs. A salon owner in no, it's in true. You feel your heartbeat on your scalp. <laughs> so they're two very different dynamics. Hey, let's tell you the business aspect of it. For anyone, so. That's the only thing. That's my only reservation. But um, I'll keep thinking about it if I can think of it. Ooh, them purple braids is nice. She tucking that hair. She is, bro. This is nice and clean. That should be pulling with all them braids. With all them braids, like, cram up at the nape, that shit is I had pulling. I to it do, it do that in general with the nape, yeah. It do that. Even when you just have your natural hair, that mm -hmm. shit, ooh, that shit be pulling. I used to, I used to get bumps back there. When I did it? Yeah. The yeah. yeah. 
But I, you know what? Someone actually messaged me today. They sent me a DM. Oh, she's getting it up like that. Okay. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> um, someone sent me a DM today. You know who you are. And they showed me a, a style that they wear on the regular where they do like two braids and like tuck it in the back, like wrap it around and tuck it. And she was like, it looks like the nape of my hair is breaking off. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what's happening. The nape of your hair is breaking off. And I feel like it has something to do, like it might not hurt or you might not feel like much tension initially but then when, like when you go to like lay down twist your head your neck like mm-hmm. that that's when it starts pulling so like i always try to keep that in mind when i do styles and like if i do let me show you if i do like have to draw hair up one thing i always consider is to um, direct the hair up into yeah, the bun into the so bun. that it doesn't pull. Like, you can see, like, it's not pulling. She has slack there. Yeah. It's relaxed, like... Nice, huh? Nice, Thank you. <coughs> okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's it's pulling. never... It's never... No matter how she twists, it's never just pulling, you know? So you always got to think about that, like... But, ooh, these styles, baby. It is tight. Her scalp can't move. You see how, bro? It don't move. Don't you hear what I'm telling you? So it this is the final move. look for the black sleek um, low yeah, bun stitch braids that we did at the oh, salon. I just come. loved the finished look. Speak so up. We can't so hear you. What are you saying? Yeah, I said, they like, say beauty comes with pain. I, okay. I, I, I butchered the same, extras, but you know like, what I mean. Just clean. Like, <laughs> look at that. Anyways, so that was one of my favorites. Damn, all these people, I'd be and, like, um, damn, this all these also one of on my, my favorites. Head. This we're preparing for like a tribal style. I think this was like a two step, right? So we have the box braids at the bottom, and then at the top, we had like a cute cornrow design. See, they so doing that shit all day. Like, um, I think this back to back all um, day. I think I've done something similar on my channel, but mine Nah, I need a chair. Give me, give me, give me a fucking stool or something. Like, I'm not just standing here all day braiding. So, but anyways, came out so cute, and then I'll, I'll be showing you guys what the purple hair looks like. So this is. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, blended in. And like I said, one thing about my girls, my stylists, is that they're gonna tuck your hair in. Okay, if you're getting colored braids, you know that's different from your natural hair color. They're gonna tuck it in, whether it's single. Or So this is the final result for the hair. Super cute, super slick, very pretty, colorful, complimentary, beautiful skin tone. Amazing, 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 amazing. Um, so now we're moving on towards the last bit of appointment for the day, which was the Ooh, for the shit. Braids, right? Looks like travel braids, but it's not really travel braids, but it's travel braids, but it's even two steps. Um, but it's travel braids. So I'm gonna call it travel braids. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Um, the girls were rounding up. Um, so this was like, um, I <laughs> it like is. This is a it's a party. It's, it's never a relaxing a moment at that salon. The, the cornrows are not going backwards; they're going sideways, right? And they're only about like four in like I think five inches of like your your um what do you call it your crown. So it's not like directly on your edges. So these are a great style to have. Um, so yeah, next time you're thinking of something, trying something new. What's that style called? Hairline, um, things like that. I think this this is a great alternative. Um, I always I'm guessing I'm it's uh. So she got feed in braids or or braids underneath, and then she just got cornrows at the top. So I don't know what you would call those. Most people get the tr- tribal braids where it's like halfway back, and then like the rest is like individual. So it's a combination of feed in cornrows. And individuals. Ooh, look how much hair they added, like, here. It's so much hair pulling. <gasps> oh. It's beautiful, but at what cost? Yeah, it's kind of like a tribal braid style. That's what they call a tribal braid. It's just usually tribal braids go half up, half down. But it's kind of like the way it's parted is kind of in a different direction.
So how does payment work for five people on one head? They probably divide that shit up. I don't know how they work it out. Every salon is different. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like that now that we're done. Super simple, very cute, very clean. Mm -hmm. Just gonna throw it around for you guys and I'll model it for y'all just a little bit. Yes. Yos, yos, yos. Oh, it made her hair look Super big. Cute. I absolutely love it. One of my favorite for the day. And then the last hair we'll be doing today is um this knotless braid um that we did with like a color 33 slash 27. So pretty. What a warm golden tone. I'll be showing you guys the final look so you guys can um I'll be showing you guys the final result. Um she didn't really want um her face to show in the video, so I didn't get much content. Um anyways, make sure you like, thumbs up, comment, and share, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Happy Merry Day. And God bless and have a happy holiday. Damn, look at all that smoke coming out. All that damn steam treatment was for nothing. <laughs> it just went on to fry the damn hair dry. Um Yeah, it's beautiful work and they work well together. But it, it's a lot going on at that salon. But the, the, despite the fact that they got all them people up in there braided and that salon still look clean and put, put together, mm -hmm. I, I got to give it up. Yeah, it, but ain't no hair on the floor. Ain't no. Like the mall used to go to, boy, that shit look like a damn a flea market. I'm not even going to lie. What? Boy, it was too. The African braiding shop. It was a lot going on. It was, they kind of did the same method they did. Like, they would tag team people's heads. But the shop itself was just like, the fuck? Do y'all clean this shit? Do y'all do anything in this shit? I just use this shit just to... It's like a hole in the wall, basically. Mmm, that sounds like a state board situation. Exactly. I was, I was like, ooh. Did they drop the comb and put it back in your head? I'm pretty sure they did. They look like they took place. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> The flea shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. All right, we got Irene's braids. I'm sorry, who is this from? I didn't even read. This is from Soulful77. Thank you so much for the request and the donation. Let's check it out. Human hair. Flea market shops normally pay play good movies. They be having some good shit at the flea market, bro. For the low. Call the state board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, we don't play that shit in our salon. Holy moly, don't a shout. You know how they call the... <laughs> call the, uh, what they call it? The health and um, wellness, whatever people... Check your shit out. Mm-mm. That sound like copyright. I can use some more beats, but <laughs> I do, I do. Health department, there you go. I had a bad experience with the braider and cleanliness. Can I bring my own combs? Or can I get some type of sanitizer? Martian girl. Beats. Didn't Tara get a scalp infection? Hold on, let me turn this shit down. Didn't Tara get some type of scalp infection from going to a um a dirty salon and they fucked up her scalp and gave her bald spots? I mean, she already had bald spots to begin with, but... No. No, we both had... That, issues, no. Though. That back patch? I'm telling you. Not Remember the when she patch. got them bumps on yeah. her scalp? That's what. That's yeah. where it came from. That, that. But I'm saying she always had the ball in the, in the, 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 the top. At the part. top? Yeah, like me. Okay, I get that. But no, I'm talking like that patch in yeah. the back where that mm -hmm. whole bar, like... She went to a salon. She said she went to a Mexican salon or something. I don't know what the fuck she went to. And they used dirty implements... And it caught, like, you saw my, like, my hands be blistering and bumping up. That's how her scalp looked. And, like, it bumped up so much to the point her hair came out and yeah. never came back in. It came back in. Like. And we, it used to be t too tight, too, on her head. That's too. That, like, too. I'm like, oh, well. 
I keep trying to tell y'all as y'all like, I need my hair done. I got to get it. Okay. All right. You got to get it done. Now you ain't got none. Barberside? Yeah. Okay. So, let me start the music. Barberside, Barberside is the blue liquid that is a disinfectant. It's it, juice. It is a, um, it kills bacteria, it kills viruses, it kills HIV, it kills fun no. fungus. Like, that's what we use to disinfect our implements. It's like blue Gatorade. It do, but that shit will kill you. Yeah, it will. <laughs> That, saying, shit will, it, that shit will kill you. It's okay? juice. Drink it. <laughs> Barbasol. Um, Barbasol. I feel like that's a spray. Yeah, the, it kills HIV. Like, so yeah. if, you get, if you get blood on an implement and it, it got HIV, like, it will kill the shit. Like, it kills HIV. Yeah, it says God. that on the bottle. Like, um... <laughs> No, for real. Like it, it can't kill anything, basically. Okay, bar yeah, Barbasol's the shave. I'm like, I know I've seen that shit somewhere. How often do you change the liquid? Um, how do I forgot, because honestly, they don't even require, like, Georgia Salons to use it anymore. They actually want it off of our stations. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we changed it... It depends on if you use it, because sometimes you don't use it, like, after, during the service. Um, but usually, I think we use it, like, once throughout the day, unless it's, like, heavily soiled. Like, we don't really put too many implements in there. Just, like, if it, like, falls on the floor, then you, like, you know, go, like, um, rinse it off and, like, put it in the barbicide. Um, but, yeah, you're supposed to at least change it at least once a day. Lysol says the same on their stuff, too. I guess it's easy to kill outside of the body. Yeah, because it's poison. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Just G that was... That's an old beat I made. Yeah, it's the, like, it's poison. Yeah, like, if you put it inside, then it's going to kill you. Yeah. Do you have a braiding video, Scout Braids? I don't. I actually was meaning to do it, but I just never had a chance to do it. Usually with long services like that, I'm not trying to, like, fool around with, like, setting up a camera and stuff. I'm trying to get the person in and out. So that's why it's never happened. And usually with situations like that, I would get Aaliyah to be the model, but she never got braised like that, so... When I did, it was, like... I was in college, so I couldn't do it like Why that. Why they don't want salons to use it anymore? I don't know. Actually, when State Board came to our salon, they actually fined us mm. because we had it on our stations. And we was like, wait, so you're, who the for, you're who charging us $50 because we got Barbicide on our station? Like, how the fuck you going to clean the shit? Um, you could st they still want you to use it, just not have it on your station. I don't know. Because they were saying that... Um, when you have, like, the barber side on the station, sometimes certain tools and things aren't able to, like, the lid is not able to close. And so it's, like, possibility of, like... The fumes, nigga. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What Ain't they... no kid gonna be by my station, so it's just like, what the fuck is the problem? I, I've never had an issue with it, right. but... Um, I, do, I don't get it. Is it a hazard being out? It's supposed to be used yeah. in a closed container. So, like... It's not like you got, like I said, kids maybe, but the kid, if they, is it in the seat, they're not like on your station messing with shit. So it's just like, I don't see, unless you drink the shit. Yeah, maybe cross-contamination. I don't know. I don't know. It was just, this is an agenda. They want everybody to have scalp scabs yep. and P.O. holes. I don't know what that is. The flea. Sounds <laughs> like they want infections to spread. Well, we still use Barbicide when we clean our implements, but it, we just don't have it at the station. And honestly, like, I really don't need it at the station. It was kind of annoying to have it at the station, to be honest. Um, but probably fumes. It's actually not that strong. It's very diluted. Um, let me see. Let me just pull the shit up. Let's just get more information on this shit. 
because we have so many questions. This is like death in a bottle, bro. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely what? is. A barber got killed. That would have called barbicide. <laughs> Here we it. go. Barbicide. It juice. Don't pay attention to my zip code, y'all. Oh. It says, <laughs> it's an easy way for professional groomers to disinfect home brushes, shears, and more. Kills ringworm, HIV virus, staph Hell bacteria, no. and other pathogens. Barbicide disinfectant contains a powerful rust inhibitor. Concentrated liquid, four ounce makes one gallon of clear blue solution. A 64 ounce bottle makes 16 gallons. Does it have a nice fragrance? No. The scent is close to a harsh, sterile chemical smell, and it burns the lungs to breathe in, so I wouldn't try. No, there is no fragrance added. It's a pretty harsh chemical. It's suggested to wear gloves with use so as to not to get chemical burns. Yeah, I it didn't know that. Rona. Yeah, it kills Rona. I'm about to say, shit, if it can kill HIV. It kills then... viruses. It, it kills wow. viruses. It's, uh, let me see if I can go to the picture. So is it safe to put back in your head after using it? Like... You rinse it off. You don't just put yeah, it in there I and then dip it right, out. Look. And you're like, all right, let me come in, come <laughs> in your hair. Like, no. What's going to happen? Your hair going to melt. It is germicide. I don't know what the fuck that shit is. Pseudo monocide. <laughs> Fungicide and viricide. Okay, it killed. It killed a barber. It killed everything. That's the thing barber spray on their tools. Is that also barbicide? Yeah, it could be. Oh wait, are you talking about the, on their clippers? Um, that's not barbicide, but it is a disinfectant. cleaner disinfectant and a lubricant. Yeah, which means it kills pneumonia. Um, yeah, it does. It kill anything. Hold on. Point. V2B2010 said, we need more thumbs up. Bruh. About to order a couple of bottles. What y'all gonna do with it? no. What the hell? Please don't try to disinfect yourself. Now, it, it doesn't clean. It just disinfects. Right. So, I difference. mean. It's a difference. I hate when people I don't, say. I wouldn't, like, use it to, like, coat your, your counters and shit. It's like sanitizer. Because you you're probably going to eat the shit, but I wouldn't, you know. But how I view it like sanitizer. Sanitizer doesn't necessarily clean your hands. It disinfects it. You can still have gunk and shit all in your hand and just be disinfected. But, yeah, you got to leave some soap and water. Yeah, so it's it's three levels of um, sterilization. You have um, shit. I forgot. It's um, I know it's one where you actually clean it and remove all the dirt and um, debris on it. Then the second stage is disinfection, and then the third stage is sterilization. Oh. Barbicide is hospital grade disinfectant. People about to disinfect their toilets and. Oh no, please don't. Can you clean your This isn't a cleaner. Yeah, it's, not a it's not cleaner. a cleaner. These are harsh chemicals, people. <laughs> like, I don't want you like using it to like coat and disinfect your shower and your sinks and your counters and then you go and like you putting stuff on there and it's like Please don't use it at home. Yeah, it's, it's not, not meant for the house. It's not it's no. Not. Not. Use your Lysol. Please, yeah, use, use your Lysol. Clorox, That's what it's there bleach. for. Um, Y'all gonna end up burning y'all skin off in the shower. If, if, can it be used as mouthwash? Ooh, Hold on, wait. Who's that? Who said that? Who said that? Urinary teeth. Oh, that's what it was. What the fuck does that mean, nigga? I don't know. Wait, you can yeah, use it's, requ it's required for nail techs. It's required for barbers. It's required for um, cosmetologists, like all the above. It's all... <laughs> Mouthwash. Oh, God. Your whole mouth is going... <laughs> your jaw going to drop. It's going to um, You're going to die. Like, you're, you're mouthwashing chemicals. Um, I'm trying to... Th um, If you need to clean your your tools and your brushes and combs... You can do that with um, dish detergent soap. You can do that with uh, um, antibacterial hand oh, soap. Oh, dental tools. Okay, that's probably why they say clean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I was about yeah. to say, I'm like, uh, yeah. mouthwash? 
Go, 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 go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Can we use it as an acid to melt a body Bro. we need to get rid of? Uh-uh. You know what? Look at Y'all trolling. I need y'all acid trolling. for that. Put up. Yeah, trolling. Okay, with y'all. What y'all got going on? Y'all got dead bodies. Hot as well. Still got some? There was a dentist disinfecting with bleach. He went to jail. <gasps> Bleach in your mouth, bitch. Oh, that's cancer. Can they put that? They can't put that back no, in your mouth. Can't. No, but I I know for one thing, people use Clorox to clean toys for kids. We used to do that when I um did like my internship. Y'all y'all out here confusing everybody. But the thing is, we dilute it. You supposed to dilute it with water and shit. You don't put too much Clorox in that hole, and then you still rinse it off before you use it, like how you do the barbicide. Still gotta rinse it off. Thank you for braiding the hair in its natural state. <laughs> Bitches that like it's so fucking hard. Even though you use hella jam, but I get it. I get it. It ain't even hella jam, because it's not like caked up on the hair. Yeah, do not go mixing bleach with other chemicals. You're going to have a fire in your damn house. Oh, shit. Waffles Revolution, hey! <laughs> oh, she got a little thing in the back. Does she got vitiligo? Vitiligo. You can use Tenorite for bodies, just a fun fair. Do y'all research. It's too much. People throw. Hey, what the hell you be doing? <laughs> Talking he, about bodies. He disinfecting. The bodies. <laughs> when you had that, that one late night right. encounter. Come on, baby. <laughs> Maybe a birthmark. No, there ain't no birthmark. I got a birthmark. You got one? Yeah, it's on your leg, ain't it? Yeah. Mine on my ass. It does like it doesn't appear to be too tight on her hair. I think her hair is just fine and thin, so it looks like it's tight. But it's it's not like pulling. It just looks neat. See, it's not like she's yanking the, the hair real tight to get it in there. Is it a birthmark? Okay, it might be. No, birthmarks can look like that. Actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, some people. Mine like somebody just burnt my ass, like one cheek of my ass. It's not like dark. It's on your booty? Yeah. Oh, I think I've it's seen like it. It's like a lightest brown. <laughs> I think I remember yeah. seeing it. It's on my ass. I've been branded. Girl. <laughs> I ain't seen your ass in years. Yeah. I don't know what it looked like now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Could have made them a bit thicker. No, it wouldn't have It wouldn't have matched her density. Yeah, it's on my booty lever. If anything, the braids are pretty thick for her density, but it doesn't appear to be like too too much. Ooh, do be in a twill like me. Or fuck on the ass. <laughs> oh, we need another track. I thought knowledge braids was supposed to be less tension. I see something that made the scalp fold. <laughs> I need to see them braids. And ooh, that booty. Ooh, that booty. <laughs> Which ass cheek is it on? My right. That thing about it. I was like, is it on my right? Is it big? Yeah, it's kind of like a, like a, not a block. I don't want to say a block. It's, just, it's a real light. You can see the, the discolor on one cheek, but it's like a little mark. On my cheek. I can't show my ass on TV, so you know how that go. <laughs> Technically, you can. I'm not doing that, though. You got people out here 
they want to find people for uh, videos for cursing and shit, but they got trans people out here showing they, yeah, they genitals the dude, and shit. Well, the, the dude now, she, but she's intersex, so she had she was born both. So she just raised a girl all her life, but then she's more masculine. So, but she has a video. The one I think we watched the video of, it, of our interview. She showed Where do you get your music dick. from? This is from YouTube. I have a playlist. Um, Shit, I can't find this shit no more. But I had a playlist. I posted in the intro of the video for anybody that was interested in the chill hop, like lo-fi hip-hop tracks that I play. And you can hear all the tracks that I um, play, like, during the live stream with the Be Right Back screen, the intro screen, and things like that. But YouTube has, like, copyright-free, royalty-free music that we can use. This is what I'm using now. And I also use some of Aaliyah's beats, Martian Girl. What's your YouTube? Oh, Martian Girl Beats. Martian yeah, Girl? No, nah, she has been Ligo. Do she? Where? I don't see it anywhere else. Yeah. Freckles. She just light skin. Thank you for posting that playlist. You're welcome. I know a lot of people was asking. It took me like 30 minutes, but I, I went and did it for y'all. <laughs> you can show your goodies on here now. Technically for educational purposes. I was about to say, that's why the trans people tend to do it and they get away. This won't be educational purposes. Like Shawty, she showed her whole sling on camera. Like walked in the frame all body naked with a dick. Just I was like, oh! <laughs> on YouTube. Real question is Bray's fine for her. Um, they don't seem to be too too much. It should be fine. You know, people act like fine hair is just so weak and brittle, and it's gonna break at any given point. But like the braids, they're kind of long. As long as she ain't like putting excessive tension or anything on it, it should be fine. Yeah, look up, um, she's actually well known. She's an intersex, uh, human <laughs> being. So she was born with both genitalia. But she was raised up as a, a woman. Let me turn this shit down. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know her name. I forgot her name when she goes by. But I, him I, now, technically, I, I, by proper terms. I, I, but, yeah. I, I. You can watch people get Brazilian waxes on here. Wow. All right. Um, yeah, I didn't see anything wrong with that. Um, I need to get a wax. <laughs> thanks for sharing. Hello. Is it okay to wash your braids before you put them in your hair if you your scalp is sensitive? Yeah, that's... You mean wash the hair? Like wash the, the braiding weed? hair beforehand? Yeah, you can. A lot of people like to soak them in hot water and vinegar to get the coating off. They say it helps. I don't think it helps, but they say it helps. <laughs> it seemed like too much for her density. Maybe lengthwise, it, yeah, I can see it adding weight, it. but like, it's, cool shit, bro. it's not. It's not tight, but it's just she's. she's it's not she's tight, tight, and I don't like just for the size that it is. I don't think it's particularly heavy. Mm -mm. Um, I think she did that pretty good. Yeah, I, I think she. With. I think she proportioned it really well. Mm -hmm. Because she, she sees that she, you know, her hair is fine, so she doesn't want to put too much weight on it. Yeah. It's better than what the Mexicans yeah, are doing. Yeah, I, think if, head, I but... think if there's any weight, it's probably just from the length. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, it doesn't. It moves. Yeah, it, it doesn't <laughs> look like it's too much. I like her freckles. Very like scalpy. Yeah, it is. But, you know, you can't help that when it's. Yeah. Um, it's first off, Knotless always makes it look more scalpy. And then um, when your hair is fire and you have thin density, it's, it's going to be scalpy regardless with knotless. Is it all hermaphrodite? Yeah, that's basically what she is. That's uh, what they call that it. is an archaic term. That but they go by intersex. It's offensive. Yeah, it's an offensive term. Yeah. So. But yeah, she was born both. <laughs> intersex, yes. It's crazy. Um, It looks tight. It doesn't and look she's black. It doesn't look tight to me. Um, again, I just think um, sometimes fine hair and thin hair can look tight just from how thin it looks and how easy it is to, like, smooth and slick the hair into the braid. But it, it's not too tight. 
Um, Maybe I can, can you see. Look her up real quick? No, I'm not flagging my video for no, that. No, not the dick thing. This is show them who I'm talking about. Like she has multiple <sighs> interviews. Oh on. my god. Okay. Fine. Not the dick video. Go, not, go no ahead. That. Go. No. Who 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 you want to look at? Just type in uh, black intersex YouTuber. I don't know. It should pop up her her face. I don't know who she looks like. Right there, second one. That's her or him. Way. Like I would say straight away, like, hey, you know I've got, um, you know, like you know I got a small, you know I got a small dick, or I'd be like, oh, you know I got a pussy, or yeah, British. <laughs> um, he was cute until he started talking. Maybe it's because he sped up, but mm. but yeah, that's that's buddy right there. And so, what were you saying about him? Well, what does he share? He, he he's intersex. Okay. Saying, I, they, I just want to let them know who I was talking about. So they can look it up and do and see the video of him with the slang if they want to. Wait, he got a slang? He got yeah, he got it crafted. He got a surgery done. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They show he had a video. What's his channel? See, and now you want to see it. What's his name? What what did they say? At Lad Bible TV. I don't think that's him. That's not it. Okay. Out of coming. Oh, right here. Rashante Anderson. Anderson. Child, we ain't never going to finish this damn video. 26-year-old <laughs> intersex male who says that he wants 24-7 Instagram. What Says what he wants. Okay. Oh? Yep, that's him. He got a daughter too. Yeah, and she, he was a girl at one point until later on in the years. But he was born with both, so he was able to oh, have a kid. You just love when you take uh, a warm piece of item from a radiator and you just uh, feel so, so satisfying. Anyway, guys, so right about now, me and Paige get ready to do our book ban. And, uh, yeah. All right, I'm just going. Is that a Japanese character on his eye? Does that say Ka? Hey. What is that? Hey, man, man. Why do you look like you're going to Safari? It's a for you. But I could have to my head. I think he's considered bisexual. Oh, he got the dangling. I was looking yeah. at her strange because I was like, um. <laughs> but I was like, he got the dangling. He got dick now. <laughs> they oh them things be looking weird though. It did. They don't have no veins. And he was explaining on one interview where he had the the other artificial one where you had to pump it to, in order to get hard type shit. And it was explaining how that works. I was like, wow, there's a lot for that. Yeah. Okay, let's save this for the podcast. He's handsome, you know. Oh, would you holler? No, I'm good. I don't you do don't, men. I don't do men. He's a man you now. You, I mean, but you don't think he pretty? He handsome, technically. Okay. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> do you think he's handsome or cute? He's or handsome, but I'm. I Would wouldn't you be. Do that? No, I'm not interested. But damn. <laughs> they cute together. And besides, he's somebody man. I ain't no home record. Okay. All right, moving on to our next super chat request. This one comes from Crazy Natural Princess Two Po One. How to crochet using braiding hair, leave out versatile protective style. Yeah. Thank you so much. Let's check it out. If y'all want to, you know, see it, it's on there. We got, we we got it. Thanks, I'm, I'm just thanks. Saying, we thanks. gonna look. I'm gonna show you when we thanks. get off. We, we, I'm gonna show you what it look like when we get off. I know you're not. I don't need to see what it looks like. I know what a penis is supposed I'm to look like. I'm just saying about him, no. Like he had the surgery. I don't want to see his penis. Why are you obsessed with his penis? 
You yeah, see how you always rush. Why are you obsessed with his penis? I was just trying to tell people. You like I want to show you. I want I want you to see what it look like. I'm 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 okay. fine. All right, I've right. seen enough dick okay, in my lifetime. Right. Ahead, I don't ahead, I don't need ahead, to. See, ahead, I don't need to. Go ahead, like. Go ahead. No, like you, you sound very curious. Like you really like. I already in... didn't see the shit, nigga. The fuck. <laughs> I was just trying to show you if you wanted to see, but you don't want to see. And that's why. No, you, you really want me to see. Like you really want me to see. I thought you. I'll look at see. it. I'll look at it since you want me to see. I'll look at it. Did I do anything wrong? I'll look at it. I'll look at it. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Pull it up. I can pull up before we. <laughs> was it wrong? Was I don't understand why me? he's showing all of that. Like, I it's don't... supposed to be educational. But for what? For Hi guys, welcome know? back to my channel. It's your girl Tupo. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please subscribe, like, comment, give me a thumbs up, guys. Today I'm going oh, to show you how to achieve this gorgeous her face is... using braiding Damn. hair, crochet method. What the fuck, yeah. son? Look, I told you. What the fuck? Let me go back in the beginning. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's sitting there with his dick yeah. on the fucking video. How? Yeah, now he don't show it no more after that. But that's basically yeah. What, what the fuck? He explains the whole process of it. Make it. How you take Philip? Philip? I can't say the word. Phalloplasty? Yeah. Result. You can't read, bitch. Look. There you go. Oh, that, that, that was it. That was it. Look. Oh, he, this <laughs> Look at nigga, that, this nigga literally walks out Look in the that, fucking yeah. first five seconds of the video, naked, naked. <laughs> on YouTube, naked. It's over for everybody. Full shot, full view. Like, oh my god. Okay, how you look it up? Just look up Someone said link. Go ahead, post the link in the uh, live chat. Shoot. Go, go, copy the link and go post in the live chat because I'm not, no. How I achieve this look? Please continue okay. watching. I, I was good. I was good without that. Guys, so my hair is freshly washed. I'm going to be using the Tattoo Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner, you know, just to make sure my hair is nice and moisturized. And I'm also going to be using my Jamaican Black Castor Oil just to make sure everything is nice and juicy or whatever. Two you know, pole. Is real, as you Why can... your hair ain't growing, Two pole? You do too many protective styles. I posted the link, y'all. You do check. too many protective styles for your hair to be tickling your ears. Like when you are, when your hair gonna grow? You guys can see, oh my gosh. Oh no, I'm telling you this up? hair can stretch, okay? I'm going to be using my Afro comb just to make sure my hair is nice and manageable. And then I'm also going to take my rat tail comb just to section my hair out. And I'm going to be doing cornrows going all the way to the back. Nothing serious, nothing major. Just some basic, basic cornrows going all the way to the back. And you know, I gotta use some clips just to make sure I'm holding the hair out of the way. Because you know my hair is short and it is thick, sis. Oh my gosh, this hair is thick, sis. There. This hairstyle right here is no, so did you post it? I did. Hour and you are done. It. So I'm gonna do the rest What's of the your name? And I'm going to be using it's some Aaliyah more Hayes. of the Jamaican black castor oil and the coconut see. oil mixture, you know, just to make sure everything is nice and moisturized. My hair is nice and juiced up. You already know when I'm trying to do a protective style, it is good to always have your hair nice and moisturized. And then I'm just gonna massage this scalp, guys. But Man, that's about it. Shit okay. again. So I'm going to be using this I Define Easy Dude. braid, guys. This is just a basic braiding hair. It comes three in a pack. I wanted to show you guys that you can actually use braiding hair to have like a natural blowout kind of look or situation going on. Oh, okay. it might not. So maybe it doesn't post link. And yeah, maybe it doesn't post links. Mm. Can I just write the title of it? Oh, well, type your name. Type something. Say, hey, I can make you a mod. Hey. Stupid. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Wait for it. Some people already didn't see it. They probably looked for it because yeah. they wasn't waiting for you. I know. I figured. I said, just look up his name. It's uh, right. Why you ain't popping up? I don't know. I send it, though. Oh, did I block you? The fuck, nigga? Now, nah, I'm offended. I must have blocked you because I don't see you. I'm a post. Oh, I can't even post his name. 
Hmm. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> Holy shit. Bunchy, Bunchy. Bunchy. Type his name. Is. Let me go back to his name. Someone already typed it. Oh. All right. And then I will feather the hair. But if you Look want it like name, this long, you can Wow. You, you see how YouTube be doing? My own sister can't even comment on my fucking, my fucking videos. Man, this, this is why all the content creators leaving YouTube. Sis, look. I ain't block her. Hmm? I ain't block her. Hey, you you know what? I gotta go if you block me, I wouldn't be able to see your video, right? You no, you can hair, still see you know, it. I just can't hair. see you. you. Can actually use that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm subscribed to him, y'all. I've seen his video on my um, subscriptions. So I'm going to be using this basic crochet needle. So, you know, opening and closing it just exactly the way I'm doing, okay? Sectioning the hair, I'm actually taking a little piece at a time, guys. I wanted to use exactly one pack of this braiding hair. I'm just gonna place the crochet needle in, open the hook, take the braiding hair, place it on the hook, and then close it, pull it out, okay? I'm going to be using my fingers Thank to pull the hair in. So once I place the hair in, both strands in, it's gonna give my hand a little twist, and then I'm going to place it in again, and then just pull it out. Exactly the way I'm saying, you wanna tie it twice, that way it is really nice and secure. Cause you don't wanna be combing the hair out, and then, you know, just hair falling all over the place. We wanna be nice and secure. <laughs> So I just want you guys to stick around and see how I did the top part right there where I'm going to have the section. But otherwise, the other parts, I'm just going to do the basic, basic crochet method. So I'm going to show you guys again, place the crochet needle in, open the hook, don't get the copyright for this the music hook, right. close the hook, and then pull huh? it out, okay? Don't get so once you pull it out, you're going to take no, both strands. I'm going to be using my fingers YouTube to pull the hair music. in. And then I'm going to give my hand a little twist. That way, you know, it's nice and locked. And then I'm going to place the hair in again and pull it out. Let me exactly see, do, I, do I got you, Bla? I'm about right to here check. This is so, so easy. It took me an hour to do this style right here. Yeah, this is most popular video, I bet. Cute, but also saving time, money, and everything. I'm in 2022. We can't He ain't even hard. It's just like hanging. Have you subscribed to my channel? I mean, I, like, what is he gonna do? Get hard? Like, how does it work? I remember it told you, well, not that dick. I don't know about that one, but he explained in one interview he had a dick. He, had a he gotta pump it. Okay. And then at one point it broke. Like, what? Yeah, he was just, yeah. So he had to buy another one that was an upgrade. They have, bro, it's upgrades to the shit, bro. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm muting her. Her voice is annoying me. Let me see who is blocked. I'm like, damn, nigga, I've, I'm subscribed to you. Alia, uh, I don't think, I, sometimes I'll be watching on my phone and my finger will, like, tap a name and, like, I'll tap it and end up blocking them. And you I'm got like, a lot of niggas blocked, nigga. Hell yeah, because <laughs> my, my mom's gonna play that shit. Damn. Hell yeah. He'll no. be coming on there, like, trolling and shit. Can you just click on my profile and see if I'm bought like that? Or you got to go through this whole process? <laughs> oh, I blocked Monica Webster. She would be leaving weird ass comments. I don't see my name pop up. I don't have links blocked. I don't know why you ain't popping up. Let me see. You. Even my hey didn't pop up. <laughs> I'm going to just make you a mod. Alia Hayes. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. you. Not me. That is not you. Damn, Use somebody my email. Got... Use my email, bro. There you go. There you go. <laughs> my old videos are still on there. I forgot about that. <laughs> Girl, you in this picture. <laughs> That's when I first made, it, made beats, like, on that uh, software you gave me. Remember uh, Magic's? Oh, yeah. I still got that shit. <laughs> Aaliyah is now a mod. All right, what is, Tupo, what is Tupo doing? Don't abuse your privilege. I block your left and now, right. Now, say hey and see if we can see you, because I don't know why the fuck you ain't popping up. Okay, hold on. Still got the video. Bad, bad. When I tell you, this hairstyle came all the way. Yes, Hola. I am ready for this natural hair blowout situation. Now, hey. pop up. I, I see the little mod. Oh, there, there you go. There I is. Hey. Full hair or whatever Hola. you want to call it. I am loving this. Oh, this is a nice crochet. I don't know what the fuck she did, but it looked good. I'm going to be trying it because this is easy. Ooh. You know me. I gotta throw 
throwing a few styles here and there. I am feeling the Tomorrow woman is still here, posting you know, like, alright, I'm gonna post like that. You already now. know I love some big hair, don't mama. care, honey. And bad, bad. The styles you. are coming all the way through as well. And you know, I cannot be accessorizing queen without adding Damn. some accessories. Once I get this twisted situation going on, there she gonna nap up at the, the end of the night. You know, yep, there you go. They go. To, they go to late, y'all. Now I got it. Anyway, let, let me know if you guys are feeling it. Let me know if you guys are going to be trying it. And you know, I gotta throw it to the back as well. And I gotta give you a little back as well, honey. Yes, it's too cool. So does she like voice over all the videos the same way? Let me know which one was your favorite style. Let me know if you guys are gonna be trying all of them. I want you Girl, to you in the same, same look into, into the camera. Once you try these hairstyles, because you know what? I'm gonna be reposting. She be killing me. And yeah. I'm actually feeling this out right here. And let me tell you, this, this hairstyle beat. is nice and versatile. You can actually rock a middle part. Oh as well. my god. Oh really my god. Right here, <laughs> this is an hour hairstyle and you are done. Look left, look up, look right, look straight on, turn look out. down, then up. <laughs> we're about to save money, time, and everything in 2022, honey, 2022, because listen, we're already done with 2021. It's the constipated phase. It's the, I got a shit, I got a shit real bad. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my videos. Oh, I'm about to say nigga for real. No, that's the look she giving. I got a stinker for you. Damn, I'm out of wine. It's too early. Did you want to get some more? Mm -mm. I'm drinking too much. I already drank last night. Damn. You trying to make me an alky like you? I'm a functioning alky. <laughs> Barely. Nigga, what you mean? Come on. Barely. How barely? This is creative nonetheless, but doesn't seem long lasting. African hair guys roast. I wasn't roasting her, was I? Maybe. <laughs> I like Tupa though. I feel like I feel like if me and Tupa were in a room together, like we would click. You like vodka girl. Yeah, I feel I feel like I would vibe with her. Now, some people I feel like I probably wouldn't vibe with. Ooh, let me not do that because that's real messy. Um, well, do what do you do, Nicole? They close at like eleven. Like they start they start shutting down at like eleven. Oh, they always make my hands flare up though. Well, they do every time I eat. I always get like flare ups on my Any hands. Any food from there? Huh? Any food from there? Or just I don't. I always get the same shit. Like maybe it's your diet that's causing the flare up. It has to be. I mean, it gotta be something. That's but you a, eating healthy, so I still not. I I'm eating healthy, but I'm drinking a whole bottle of wine, bitch. That ain't got nothing to do with A whole bottle of wine. <laughs> no, let me tell y'all, nigga. I had bought. Look, look at this. Look at this. I got two bottles of wine, right? I bought two for us to share. This nigga was I like, told, for you I to told you. her. No, you did not. No, I told not. her. I was like, I'm not supposed to be drinking like that. Like, I drink like once a week, and I'm good. Lies, so, I lies. drunk last night, got sloppy. No, I'm not allowing you to pump me. I drunk last shit. night, and then like, she like, you want another bottle? You want another bottle? I'm like, okay, if you want to get a bottle, no, I'll no. get no, no, no. So, my doctor and I checked. We did a food allergy test. I'm not, um, I don't think I'm allergic to gluten. I think I have a sensitivity to wheat, though. So, I don't know if that has something to do with it, but shit. Like a bitch, oh. I, it know, just, honestly, I'm, I'm done trying to figure the shit out. Because the shit flare up even when I don't do shit, so... Dude, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know what. The like fuck I told, I'm like, look, like my hand's still bumping the fuck up. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck the problem is. It looks way like, better than what it did. Though. It did. I got it under control. Like, and the only reason I got it under control is because I'm not doing hair every day. <laughs> Help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> All right, the shit is gonna bloop. <laughs> oh shit! Put it back! Put it back! Oh, uh, all right. Let, yeah, yeah, I am kind of blurry. Let me turn this mic down a little bit. Okay, let me, um, shit.
Let's recalibrate. Yeah, sound really fucked up right now. So should we see? Next request. Shit, we, we, we might. Yeah, we might have to like cut this stream short so we can get some food. Like we haven't shoot. eaten since earlier today, and it's just like. All right, next request comes from Sarah Danae, and she wants us to watch some link that she typed. Thank you so much. I hope I can type this shit right. I always be touching this shoulder when I be live. I be like, yo, because he a fool, y'all. He a fool. Time to Uber Eats. See, Uber Eats be overcharging. How much they charge? Bro, you know they got the delivery fee, they little service fee, all that shit fee. So that shit add up to about you at least spending like at least twenty dollars. See, I'm not that kind of bitch. I'm the type of bitch to just go ahead yeah, and go get the saying. shit. Now, if I'm at home, like I've been there, I, I Uber eats a lot, not every day, but when I can't make it home, or not make it home, but make it to go get some food. Oh, we don't have a lot of latency. That was kind of quick. I can see it on that, on that, on that Oh, shit. I'm nice so nice sorry. I don't know where nice the one. fuck that shit came from. But, wow. Um, I'll link it again if needed. Okay, so now now my profile won't come up. Oh, you know something? Yeah, I, I posted a link. Yo, Hold shit, up. YouTube don't want you to be great, bro. They don't want you to post links because they know, like, let me see if, I, not, if I type, hey, let me see if I come up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> don't worry, y'all. We don't have any more alcohol. That's it. So I'm not popping up. What the fuck is happening? Like, the fuck? I got promoted, y'all. I'm a mod. I don't like that. People, people's comments ain't popping up. Like, what the fuck is? Yeah. Wh- like, what is? What is that? YouTube on some other shit, bro. I, th- this is what I'm telling y'all. YouTube is on that fuck shit, sir. Even the top dog. How? How? how like how? Head. How? That is crazy. I literally just typed hate and the shit did not pop up. Not me having to pay money just to like. Oh, they deliver alcohol. What app? Girl, you don't need that. What app? Shit. What's the app? Let me know. I'm on the app store right now. Shit, (laughs) y'all, y'all got me. Hold up. Oh, Drizzlies. Is that like in a certain area or? Oh, I see it popped up in my app. Let me see. I'm about to download this bitch real quick. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we got here. Thank you, y'all. Drizzly. I the got it. The Style and Beauty Doctor. I've been thinking about signing up for like a wine membership. No, you don't need that. Need you drink it. too much. And Okay. You, you drink too much. And I drink water. But you still drink too much. What's the problem? I don't drink. The don't, problem is you drink too much. I don't drink every damn day like that. I drink you drink day every day. day. Maybe a beer a day. You drink every day. You're a little, beer. That shit is going to catch up with you. You drinking too much. A beer? Yes. One beer? Yes. It's never just one. Stop. No, I'm dead Stop. ass. And when I work Stop. on days, I only Stop. get one beer. Okay. Stop. Yeah, you Stop. Ain't nobody fucking lying, nigga. I get one beer. I can't lie. I can't get myself that, bro. How to grow back bald edges fast. Does castor oil actually work? Should we be taking biotin? Is oiling the scalp good for the hair or not? Listen, y'all, we talk about skin a lot on this channel, and we're going to be talking about the scalp today. There's a lot of misconceptions out there. Folks just swindling you left and right to... Get to jotting because there's going to be a lot of information here, and I want you to be able to reply. Form of extensions, right? Or maybe a tight ponytail, it's a wig, weave, braids, whatever it may be. You take it out, and you're like, "Ooh, my edges are a little thin." You take a break, maybe use a little castor oil, and it just pops right back, 
right? You're just like, oh, I just needed a little break, okay? That's stage one. People are not coming to the dermatologist for stage one disease, right? Because they understand what took it out. It comes right back. People are really coming in stage two, stage three. So this is over time, you've been doing extensions. The amount of time it takes to get to stage two is different, right? Someone who has very fine hair is going to progress to stage two, five. That's I will say this. Um, when you pull out the hair follicle prematurely, what you are doing, and this is particularly at the edges, what you are doing is you are damaging the follicle. And what tends to happen is that um, as the hair grows in, it will grow in thinner and thinner and thinner until it doesn't grow in at all. Now, for some people, this happens very quickly because their hair is already fine. And for some people, it happens not so fast because they have thicker hair. But from my understanding, when um, you just kind of prematurely yank out hair that's not supposed to be yanked out, not a good situation. So then someone who has very thick hair, right? But stage two is the point where you take the extensions Thank out, you, you give it in a break, and it's not coming back. So I have a lot of patients, they'll come to me, and they'll say, I'm... <laughs> in my 20s, I drink almost every day. Once you get a little older, you'll slow down. Because I used to drink a lot more in college. I don't drink as much as I do back then. I don't even drink strong liquor like that. Let's have Superior, party. don't enable her. All she I drink is beer. Stop. I don't even buy liquor. You, that's too much. You see, look, look at your belly. Yeah, you're look. right. That's why I said I look. gained weight because of the look. beer. Look, look, it's pushing it back. It's so <laughs> squishy. Fucking mine is got the same belly as me. Mine is firm, though. No, I got muscle. Ain't no damn muscle. I got muscle underneath that. Not don't that no, don't let it. Don't get it twisted, bitch. Oh no, I've been. Told I got. I, don't get it twisted. I got minute, abs. Wait a minute. Son. You ain't finna do me like that. I got, I got more abs. muscle mass and fat, ho. I got abs. <laughs> I'm not about to show you, but I got it. Like, don't get it right, twisted. Why you got a muscle belly? I got. I do. I do. Like this shit ain't. This nah, ain't no like. Nah, I can't. You 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 like you push it too hard, you gonna hurt yourself. Like don't do that. <laughs> All right. I don't know what the cause is because I haven't <laughs> done extensions, relaxers, anything for five years. Well, stage two only responds to medical therapy. And then I'll say, well, what were you doing five years ago? Right? What were you, what, oh, well, I was in braids all the time. That was my go-to. I always ask people, what's your go-to? Right? What is, because we all have like a hairstyle look that people associate with us. But at that stage, we can apply something like minoxidil, but you need a true medicine and <laughs> it can re restore maybe 40 <laughs> to 60% of what is lost, which can be adequate and be amazing. Stage three is when, again, you've been out of extensions or maybe you're still in extensions and now the scalp is feeling smooth. Okay. Now you're feeling around your scalp, it's feeling smooth. And if you were to do medical therapy, it actually would not grow in at all. The only thing that will fix that is a hair transplant, okay? Where you literally have to take care for the back of your scalp and move it up front. So when I see advertisements for growing back bald edges, uh, you know, a lot of that is misleading, right? People show inaccurate pictures, but you can grow back edges with oils and things like that if you're in stage one disease, right? It's very limited, it's very minor. It's just a right about thin, the beard, though. But for women who have very severe, well, like, they're just like, oh my gosh, right? It's so bad that they would have that to- That was Naomi that. Campbell. That not respond to any oil. When people are in that stage one phase where they're like, okay, mm, you know, I went a little too tight last time. She braided me up, you know, too tightly. Uh, what can we do at home? And does, do things like castor oil- YouTube really together like is something special. Thank you, Superior, bro. Excuse me, bitch. Bruh. Wait, what? Gotcha, bitch. How dare you? Right, then nigga, how everything dare changed you? when the fire oh, nation attacked. She don't want me here? Is that what it is? Is my presence presence unwanted, Girl, sir? Shut the fuck no, up. No, you can shut the fuck up. <laughs> Feel like I'm on one of y'all. He don't want me here. We ain't talking about we doing a podcast. You do a podcast by yourself, sir. Is that what's gonna happen? Is that what you want? You don't want me here. Crickets. Okay. Risk with some potential reward. There Black. are a few oils I heard that you may help oh, stimulate hair regrowth. There's not like a data behind it, but there's enough conversation mm -hmm. about that they may work. So castor oils, long, right. rosemary oil, wipe that oil, off. peppermint the oil, lies. another lavender. Sometimes I will give my patients <laughs> a recipe of essential oil, Nasty. an essential oil mixture that they can try that's been studied 
in a medical journal before. And so those are things that are appropriate to try. And I think those are fine to try at home first, especially if you've already decided to stop about stopping the care practices. So if you had a, a set of braids that you were like, oh my God, I went to a braider who was just too aggressive. Look at my edges. Well, then make sure you don't go back right back to that braider, right? And then say, well, I'm gonna go back, but now I'm gonna put in castor oil. Well, no, take a break, give your edges time to relax, try some of these oils. And if they work, then that's great. And then just know that you have to be gentle moving forward. When people get to this stage two point where they're like, okay, nothing's coming back. What happens when they come into your office? So most of my stage two patients, which fortunately, I, I still run about 50-50, but more of my patients, slightly more of my patients are in stage two disease. I'll give them two options. If it's stage two, but it's still like up, limited, right. I'll tell them to use over-the-counter minoxidil, and I'll tell them to get the men's box because the men's bo box is the exact same right. strength as the women's, but I'll tell them to use it once a day, whereas men are told to use it twice a day. Um, and you can oh, y'all can barely hear her. Men's for about $40, but you're only using half the amount, so that's really will last you 12 months, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, realize if your scalp has already decided that it's only going to respond to medical therapy, let's say you start using it, and you're like, oh, this is amazing. Finally, this is what I'm used to. Well, you have to keep using it to keep it, right? If you stop the minoxidil, then it's all going to fall out because those follicles have already decided that they require constant stimulation. It's kind of like watering a plant, right? You water a plant every day for six months. It's looking lush. You forget to water it for three months. It's not going to remember what you did the first six months, right? It's going to yeah. die, right? And that can be hard for a lot of women to come to terms with because they're just like, gosh, but you don't understand. Like, I used to not have a problem with this. Now you're telling me I have to do something every day. Well, any medicine, once you require medical treatment for every anything, whether we're treating traction alopecia or we're treating high blood pressure or diabetes, right? With high blood pressure, you have a point where you could just change your diet. But once you got to go on a medication, you got to go on a medication. I am not a huge fan of the formulations that are available over the counter because I think for black hair, they can be very drying and damaging. And so very often I will actually formulate um, minoxidil in higher strengths um, in oils and ointments that are more compatible with black hair. And those now, are don't you Don't you have to continue to use minoxidil? What the fuck just fell off? Oh. Don't you have to continue to use minoxidil to keep the hair on your head? That's what she was saying, yeah. Oh. It's like a medication you gotta keep using. Hell no. It's like, uh, uh, proactive. That's not a solution. That's... Proactive the same way, but she's saying with medications in general, if you're medicated, you have to continue to use it. It's like watering a plant, like she said. Can't just stop what you were doing and then think this shit's gonna still look good. But that's not that's not helping it though. Yeah, she just said that. Oh. Yes, she did. Ooh, Bruh. He <laughs> didn't miss all that. Wake up, Rod. Wake up. I'm not even really listening, but I heard that. That's why she suggested using it with products you will use in your hair anyway. anyway. Yeah. Cause she she was yeah. So you're going to basically be a slave to paying $40 a month just to keep hair on your head because once you stop, the hair falling out. Yeah. Aaliyah was paying attention. Okay, come through. <laughs> you was that kid that ain't pay attention in class. Damn. Because this shit is all <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> like, you're not helping me. You see, this this the thing with the dermatologists. They just want to medicate you. Like, they just want to medicate you and let the medication fix everything. And if you can't help me, so just say you can't help me. Yeah. Like. But she was explaining that why that's what she don't like about it because it, they tend to dry out our hair as black people anyway with our hair. So she's explaining why. Cause she can't help nobody. You know what? I, I, don't I mean, even, but a medication. Technically, I don't even want to shit on these dermatologists it. like that. But after my experience with dermatologists over the past year, I'm what just like, what can they like, do though? I mean, they, they don't do shit. That's the problem. They don't do shit. They just throw medicine at you. They're just like prescribe them this. I'm like, do you even know what the fuck is going? No, g give them this. Like, I'm like, what, bitch. And I'm really it trying to give patients the best it. chance of responding before they have to even consider things like hair transplants. For stage two disease, additionally, platelet rich plasma therapy is an option. Platelet rich plasma therapy is a cosmetic treatment where we take your own blood, we spin it down in a centrifuge, and we, we separate the blood into a red part and a yellow part. That yellow part is the plasma. We inject that back into the scalp. It can be quite effective for traction alopecia. That's going to run you, you know, no matter where you are in the country, that's going to run you between two and five thousand dollars for a full Ooh, treatment course, which usually consists of about three that's treatments, it, and it has it. to be repeated yearly. So again, if you do the platelet-rich plasma and you're like, "This is great, I love my hair," 
more often than not, you're gonna have to come back in a year when it starts to go away and get another set of treatments. And for anyone it has to go as far as a hair transplant, what does that process Absolutely. look like? And how much yeah. approximately does it cost? Yeah, so if we've done things like medical therapy, we've done platelet-rich plasma, and it's still just like, we're not getting the restoration that we'd like to see, um, then hair transplant's excellent. And I, I like to tell my patients that black women tend to have the best aesthetic outcomes out of any group. Curly hair yeah, tends to cat transplant too? very, very nicely. Um, and it is not visible huh? at all. So there's Somebody no like- said you could do that treatment to your cootie cat too. Uh, Surgical scar people will say like, oh, <laughs> what's that, right? So it's, it's really seamless. Um, and it is an all day procedure. So it takes about eight hours to do hair transplant. It, it's gonna run you about 10 to $20,000 depending on how much area has to be transplanted. That's going to vary based on how much hair loss you have, how long you've had it. But the nice thing about this is it's a Bro. permanent treatment. So it's not something that you have Child, to repeat as be long bald. as you're not Bro, I'll just be bald. to the yeah, same type of tension. I'm rocking my alopecia. <laughs> if I got a little fuck that, I'm rocking, I'm rocking the alopecia. So like, really what the fuck are you option. doing? Biotin. Yes. You're not helping me. You're not helping me. You're not helping me. Great. I hate biotin. Uh, no, you know, I always tell people biotin has the best PR agent in all of medicine because everyone before they come and see me has tried biotin. Um, it's actually never, ever, not even once been shown to help with any hair characteristic at all. And so it doesn't work. You know what, do you know what doesn't help? Minoxidil, bitch. If I got to keep using that shit for the rest of my life, the shit ain't, it, it ain't helping. I just it doesn't work your hair. Right. Bitch, 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 bitch. No, I'm not allowing you to pay me for the bullshit. Thing about biotin is that it affects your lab work. So there's actually an FDA warning against the use of biotin after there were deaths reported. The the death that pushed the FDA over. Girl, girl, no. Girl, no. I'm not allowing Excuse me, bitch. Bullshit. He's going off. Should we be oiling our scalp when we have dandruff. Anywhere else that your body starts to flake or scale generally means that it is dry, okay? So it makes sense to like oil or moisturize. The scalp is literally the one exception. Okay. So dandruff okay. is actually a reaction, your scalp's reaction to normal yeast that lives on the scalp. So we all have yeast on the scalp, but some people, their scalp kind of hates it and they start to develop flaking. Now the yeast, what they love is they love the oil of our scalp. So they're like, I'm setting up shop here. This is great. There's a lot of sweat glands here. And so when you're adding oils, you actually can be feeding the yeast, okay? Mm. And so you should not oil your scalp. The way that we treat dandruff is we treat it through one of two ways. We either treat the inflammatory reaction because that's, you know, when we do that with like a- So what you, what, you, what you mean is you don't actually treat it. You just kind of mitigate the, the reaction. That's exactly what they were trying to do with my hands. They were trying to eject me with steroids and shit and basically um, inhibit my immune system from reacting. But I'm like, you're not, you're not actually addressing what's causing my immune system to react like this. You're just, you're just hiding it. Like, what are you doing? Or we can get rid of the yeast with an antifungal. For black women in particular, this is a black women solely have this unique consideration, not even black men, um, because black women, especially those with longer hair, which is gonna be most of us, most anti-yeast preparations are in the form of shampoos. And for them to work, you have to use them almost every day. And it's, there's no way that anyone with curly hair. <sighs> no, I'm not allowing you to pump me full of bullshit. I'm sorry. See, this is this is why this is why I can't get down with these dermatologists. Like, I... Oh. I, I yeah, if you put it on one or two. Oh, okay. Uh, there's definitely great dermatologists out there, and they, everybody's situation is different. Um, but, like, ma'am, if you can't help me, just say that. Don't, just just say that. I don't, I don't need you just, like, sweeping the shit under the rug. Like, the shit don't... Ex let her finish. All right, you go ahead and listen to this bullshit. Washing their hair with a hard shampoo every day. And so in my clinic, I almost always will prefer to treat the inflammatory reaction because I can give you a scalp oil with a steroid that's going to be compatible with curly hair. For for my Caucasian patients, Asian, um, my black men, I can always do an antifungal shampoo, no problem, right? Because they can run their hair underneath the water every day. But once people start to have more hair, then you really have to avoid those options. Are there specific oils that we can what? use? What? Excuse me, bitch. With a steroid in it. Is that what? What's that? What's the difference between that and like what people may be using at home? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when, what happens is is that people are overusing oils because they think their scalp is dry, and they're mm. so that's not a treatment. 
right? And so sometimes they're like, well, I keep putting it on and it's just getting worse, but you're not actually treating it. The scalp oil is medicated with a steroid to the active ingredients of steroid. And so that is how it gets rid of the inflammatory reaction. All the steroid does, all the steroid does is literally just inhibit your, your um, immune response. It doesn't stop it from happening. It just inhibits it. So it just stops it from showing. It's not treating it. It's not fixing it. It's not stopping. It, it's just stopping it from popping up. But it's still apparent. It's still there. A lot of a lot of dandruff issues comes from your diet. A lot of the inflammation that we're experiencing with our bodies comes from the shit that we're eating. Like this is the shit that they're not talking about because this is the shit that they don't care about because all they want to do is throw some money and inject your scalp and, and shift your hair follicles just to fix some shit. Like the 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 stuff that you. The, the stuff that you're putting in your body is coming back out. Like, your body's like, I don't want this. This is toxic. Get this shit away from me. That's why it's reacting like that. And so you just have to at this least treat the inflammation. You, you asked me about my alopecia. These. But if you just put oil, you're just layering your scalp with more oil. It's actually not going to get any better. Okay, so the difference nothing. between carrier oils and essential oils. I really love carrier oils. And people will think about oils that lead to hair growth. When really, for a lot of women, the issue is not hair growth. It's length retention, okay? Mm -hmm. Essential oils, the ones I, really I mentioned earlier, like rosemary, like lavender, like castor oil, maybe those I, things. I mean, I just wanted you to go to somebody to see if it was like something internal going on, like a lack of deficiency. Like, because that's not something you can figure out on yourself. Because basically, carrier oils that's are going to be thing. really fatty. Yeah. And what they can do is when the hair is already damp, they're going to do a great job of trapping moisture. And so the hair is less likely to break. What I see an issue with is people will get things mixed up. They will apply something like rosemary oil to the length of their hair every day. And they're just like, it's supposed to grow my hair. Why does my hair keep breaking? Well, one, you never want to put oil on dry hair ever, ever, ever. Cause that's just going to make it even more dry Two, something like an essential oil. If it's meant to have a medicinal activity has to go on scalp, right? Scalp is the only living part of this equation, right? So those are never meant to go on the hair. Tea tree oil is never meant to go on your hair. Pepper oil is never, all these no, things are meant to go on your scalp around, if you use okay. them. Things that you should use on the length of your hair, things like grapeseed Ooh. oil, jojoba sure. oil, avocado oil, those are things that are actually going to be beneficial in the long run and really, really, really enhance length retention because what- All right, so in short, carrier oils carry the benefits of essential oils. Essential oils are never meant to be used by itself. That's why the carrier oils are there. That's why it's called carrier oils. Okay, just FYI. What's the point of growing hair faster if it just breaks off every day anyway because it's so dry and so thirsty? So I always tell patients, I'd rather you- if you had to pick one essential oil to carry oils, I'd rather you pick carrier oils and just have a great understanding of them. And then the last oil that I think people use often use incorrectly is coconut oil. Coconut oil is actually almost like a protein treatment, right? So this is why some people use coconut oil and they're like, my hair feels like straw. Because coconut oil actually has the very unique ability to increase the strength of the hair. But you cannot lather coconut oil on dry hair every day. It's actually best as a pre-wash or po post-wash treatment. So you put it on pre-wash, it protects your hair from damage and swelling from the shampooing. You put it on post-wash while the hair is still a little bit damp. And it's like a protein treatment and increases strength throughout the week. But there really is a lot of, I think, misunderstanding about how to use oils because you have to really be very specific about the order that oils apply and what type of oils that you're including in your regimen. Listen, man, I told y'all, right? For more information on Dr. Agu's course, or her book, the ebook, all that information, I will leave that in the description. I'm good on that. No, I'm not allowing you to pump pull me out, for the bullshit. Pull out. Pull out. Bruh. She can keep that shit. Wait, what? That'll do. <laughs> Wait, what? That'll <laughs> do. Bruh, what the fuck? I can't, yo. Uh, I can't. I'm, I'm not. Oh, I'm so drunk, my phone look 3D. Damn, Jasmine. Ooh, Ooh girl. <laughs> it's VR now. I'm in it. <laughs> Not her in VR. She in virtual reality. Bro, look, I'm in it. Fuck it. I mean, there's no cure for eczema. It's an inflammatory condition. So you need to treat the inflammation, then do preventative care. That's true, but that's because they are looking for a way to medicate the eczema away. They're not getting to the root of the problem. 
Like, a lot of your um, immune response with your skin comes from your gut health. Like, it comes from the things that you're eating. A lot of people, you'll find a lot of people cure their eczema just from changing their diet. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the foods that they're eating, their body is having a negative response to it. They're they're not going to tell you that because they don't they don't examine and look at eczema or you know um, in that way. Their their job is always to treat by medicating, mm-hmm. and sometimes the best medication is changing and adjusting your lifestyle for the better. Cutting out sugars, cutting out dairy, cutting out um, you know bad fats, cutting out cholesterol. Like those are the things that help put your body in balance. When your body's out of balance and you have a buildup of bad bacteria in things, that's when your body starts flaring up. A lot of your immune uh, like stuff comes from the gut. So yeah, that yeah. is a it's a huge sign that there's something going on with the gut. That's why look my immune my <laughs> eczema is from why. topical <laughs> exposure. Okay, but that's a different thing. Yeah. Everybody's eczema is different. I'm just I'm just learning just from my situation. It's just it's made me more aware of like so many things. And this is why I like I lost my faith for the most part in a lot of these doctors. Now certain things, yeah. I, I need to go to the doctor, I need to get medication, I need to treat. But if it's something I that I can fix and adjust just from adjusting my lifestyle and adjusting my diet, then I'm gonna do that. Like, I'm at a stage now where I'm pre-diabetic, and I'm able to reverse that just from adjusting my diet. If I don't have to take... First of all, the medication that they gave me, I had high blood pressure. I have high blood pressure. The medication they gave me for high blood pressure causes... A side effect of it causes um, diabetes. I'm like, ma'am, like, I'm pre-diabetic. Like... (laughs) I thought I thought we're trying to work in a different direction. The lady was like, "Oh, well, you're going to get diabetes. It's in your family. You're going to get it." Yeah, I might get it too. But... Excuse me, bitch. Oh, bitch. See, I don't I don't need you on my team, sis, because you're not you not you don't have my best interest for me. Like you you don't have my my doctor literally told me that shit. I was like, "Yo, get this bitch out of my face." Like, get, get this bitch out of my fucking face because I don't want... And I told my mom, I'm like, yo, I don't I don't want that. Like, she's like, that's your family doctor. Like, go to her. I trust her. Like, she good. She good. No, I don't want this bitch in my face because I'm going to curse her the fuck out. Bitch, the, the fuck is you saying to me? Get away from me. Now they got... <laughs> <laughs> the bitch literally told me that shit. I rebuke you. She told me that shit. I was like, who says that? Like... Wow. Dr. Mia. That's your doctor. Damn, doctor. I mean, <laughs> first off, I didn't like her anyway because she wasn't like receptive to anything that I was saying. Like, she, I would tell her things, and she would just like brush off, like, "No, you need to do this. You need to do that, ma'am." Like, you're you're looking, you're sitting there going off of my fucking BMI. Yeah, I'm going to be morbidly obese according to my BMI. I don't I don't look morbidly obese though because I, I'm not morbidly obese. Like, ma'am, the numbers like you you can't look at numbers. You have to look at the individual. No, the shit pisses me off. Like what like the fuck wrong with you? Like, bitch, I fucking figure skate like every other day. Like the fuck is you saying to me? So, so, you need to go and walk for 30 minutes every day. But, you know what? Pull out, pull out. Pull out. Pull out. <laughs> Pull out. What the fuck is walking 30 minutes going to do for me? Like, what is that going to do for me? I can see if I was a bitch that I didn't fucking move all day long. But what is walking 30 minutes going to do for me? Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Ah, oh, all right. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> how do how did we get here? How did we get here? Uh, all right, we're going to move on to our next Super Chat. We're never going to get through these videos. We need to get some food, though. You have to pick it up. I'm going to go pick up food right by myself. Why you can't go by yourself? You do this no. every time. No, I'm not going to do You this. do this I'm every time. Why? You ain't grown? Do the stream. Do the stream. 
We all the places gonna be closed. What? How many more videos we got? <laughs> Nigga. At least. All right. Well, look. We look. We about to. We about to fly through the video. All right. I, I don't even mean Uber Eats. Nah. Mm -mm. Look, we got the money, but I ain't trying to spend it. I'm frugal, y'all. If I can save money, I'm not spending it. It'd be different if I ain't got no car. A walk in is beneficial know? for y'all. No, I, I get that. I get that. But, like, tell it to a bitch who's not active. Right. Like, that's what I'm saying. He tell, tell that to a bitch who don't move all I'm day, who sit too. at the fucking. Like, I, I move. Like, I do shit. Like, I, I'm not that bitch. Like, <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm telling her these things, and she like, no, you need to walk for 30 minutes. I'm like, okay, you know what? You're not you're not the doctor for me. I need you to get away from me. Not Please. Doordash, get, get away from me. <laughs> right, as I'm saying, I can save some damn, I got a car. I can drive. <laughs> to go get me some food. I'm not for this. You no trifling. Nigga, you don't we're even... going together. I thought we were going to I go can't. After the what do you want me to, huh? I thought we were going after the stream. You know how long I'm going to be streaming? All right. I'm just saying. I'm not going to. All right. If you want to wait, that's fine. Nigga, I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm all. All right. Next request comes from <laughs> Jasmine. She said, hey, can we watch Joy Amore? No forehead, no problem. Wait, what? Forehead? Who ain't got no forehead? <laughs> I got a big ass forehead, boy. Part two of stream someone suggested. That might be the move. Shit. We ain't never did it before, but shit. What the hell? What is going on here? <laughs> Look, I'm trying what? What you laughing at? Like, like, lace front that on face. Oh, what's going on? I'm laughing at what you said, too, nigga. Why does Heineken smell like weed? Wait, Sandy. Ooh, Wait, who, said that? who said that? Who said that? It do not smell who like said weed, that? Google. It don't. If anything, it has an acquired taste and smell to it. Weed hey, y'all. Welcome, 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 welcome. This is your favorite girl. And we are tuning in with some Dom Millie hair. So if you want to see... The install. Stay tuned. Hello, all my beautiful queens, and welcome to another video. Listen, if you are new, welcome. If you're not new, hey, girl, welcome back. Listen, we are back, back, back for another video, and we are doing a wig review. We are back it with does our smell world, like cut display, grass. Miss Renee Gatlin. We are at the Rare yeah. Touch Hair Palace, and we are doing a collaboration. And this video is brought to you in collaboration with Don Millie Hair. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll, we'll probably do one more video after this, and then we're going to take frontal. an intermission. It's 150% density. It's a jerry curl unit. And this unit is supposed to have pre bleached knots and pre plucked hairline. Okay. However, we did bleach it out and we did bleach the knots and pre plucked the hairline. But let me just show you their little goodies. Because you know they be wanting me to show them. Let me just show y'all. Let me just show y'all. Let me 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 show y'all. She doing all this in the salon? Some clips. Is she a stylist? She doing the most of somebody scarf. else's salon. <laughs> and some lashes. I don't know who gonna wear these lashes, but we got it. Okay, so here is the unit. It came packed in a plastic bag. I didn't notice any funny smells. Y'all know I hate that machine smell. This lace is a little bit rougher, but the unit is still just as gorgeous. So we have two adjustable straps like so. We have our combs here, two here, and then in the back. And again, like I told you guys before, my head is 25 inches in diameter. I got the large cap wig this time, so I'm just going to fit. <laughs> she she measured that bit, boy. I'll see you in a minute. Russian girl, hold it down, bitch. The same me. <laughs> but that's a different me. Russian girl beats. I'm rapping. Uh, you know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> what's cracking. Yeah. I think it's just. I don't know. <laughs> I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. 
finna get her hair done. Get in that lace front. Ugh, ugh. Got the wig. Got the wig. Let me turn it down. I don't know. The beat a little too loud. Let me turn it down. This an old beat, y'all, too. I got so much better shit. I was trying to sing off of this, but I ain't, I never came up with anything. Okay, so what are you doing tomorrow? Because I'm, I'm going to bring over my hard drive so I can just give you some beats and some beats that I have. That I, I haven't posted y'all. I have beats that I have on my hard drive. That's a good question. What the fuck am I doing tomorrow? Because you need more beats, and I got beats that I haven't posted, and I'm not, probably not gonna post them. Like, I just give it to you. I don't have anything to do tomorrow. Girl. I know, Visha. It's just, I don't really post on YouTube like that. And then you can't be putting all your shit yeah, on exactly. YouTube. Yeah, exactly. I've cause, learned. That's why I, I mean, because that's that's, that's how I downloaded this song. All I had to do was take the link, download yep. it, and bam, free beat. <laughs> and and, free and beat. motherfuckers who know how to produce, they can cut my my tag out and all that shit. So I'm just like, nah, that's why I stopped doing it. You know, I'll, I'll put your tag and shit on there. I mean, I mean, I know you, but a average Joker, my nigga, if they want something free, they're gonna take that shit off so they won't get copyrighted. Oh god. Oh, hold up, she back. That final look of our 24 inch 13 by 4 lace frontal. This is the Jerry Curl, kind of similar to a wet and wavy type style. I really, 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 really like it. We only had one issue. So as you guys know, I have a very minimal forehead because of my widow's peak. So I don't typically do middle parts. So this wig is very much so small on the parting space to the side. But as you come in to the perimeter of the front, it gets a lot larger. So if you're wanting to do just straight back with a slick look with no parting space or a middle part, then this unit would be perfect for you. So definitely check it out. I didn't have any complaints. Oh, other thing was about the tabs on the edges. Okay, my stylist said it was just a little bit short on both sides. But as you guys know, I don't do a lot of heavy manip manipulation once my hair is set. I keep that same look. But if you're the type of person that likes to wear it up or wear it pulled back, then you might want to be considerate or cognizant of that. But other than that, we love it. Say hey, Nidra. Hi. Hey. <laughs> okay, you guys, you know what to do. So get down below in the description box for all of your details. Also, make sure that you leave it below down in the comments. If we like it, put your hearts up. Thank you so much to Don Miller Hair for collaborating and sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it. You did a good job. For her to be a wig, she did a good job. She did. It still look wiggy, but. Right, it's a wig, though. It's a wig. It's, it's a wig. I like. <laughs> I mean, I have a, uh, I have, um, what's it called? Distro Kid, where I put it on platforms like Spotify, uh, Pandora iTunes, all that. Wait, they have that? Yeah. I pay uh, like $20 a year for my membership, and it, I can post on any platform, and you can purchase my beats, and that, so I, no, nobody can copyright my shit, basically. So I do have a, a, a software I do use to do that, but I haven't been posting on it lately. You should get my Spotify, too. I got other beats on there that you can use on my Spotify. Can you, can you put Spotify on there? Sure, I could. I don't. <laughs> so cool to see a female producer. Yeah, we really don't see that nowadays. I'm starting to see a lot more black female producers doing it, and I love it. I, love I know it. she was gonna tap that dog on the screen. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, but yeah, I I do have a a thing, so I just haven't been posting like that. But I do have a Spotify. If anybody want to follow me. I told her, you know, she need to make this producer thing a thing. Like, like you know, I said, I got it to where you don't get copyright no more, but I just don't post it on YouTube. That's what people be looking for, YouTube, YouTube. And I'm like, so Spotify. You have music on Spotify? Why I ain't know this? Only a few songs. Only a few. So like I said, I have just, a, just a beat? Yeah, just a beat. You can post just a beat? Yeah. Yeah, legit. Like, any platform, like I said, I... Now, iTunes. how do you go about getting shit copywritten? You figured that out? No, I don't. I don't know how. Oh, don't tell people that. 
All but right. that's why I use the software so nobody can really take my music unless you just want to record it on your phone. Yeah, because like even that. on like SoundCloud, you can't. It's impossible for you to like snatch. Down, this. Yeah, download my shit. You can't. So that's why I stopped doing that. But you want to get my Spotify? Leah, come outside. We're not going to jump you for your beats. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, right, <laughs> um, we got our next and last um, cash app request. This one comes from Chira. She said, don't sister lock your hair, Sharita M. Thank you so much. Oh, I automatically have a copyright. That's, I guess that's how it goes. So, yeah, that's why I did that. Oh, on the thing? Yeah. Because sh- I remember when I made a beat, I, I sampled, I don't know if y'all know, Kingdom Hearts, you know, I... I so you stole somebody else music. Ooh. The, the I'm about song, to type your name, the girls. The introduction song to Kingdom Hearts. Everybody know that that song that everybody loved that to Kingdom Hearts player. When you Oh wait, that's not No, that. it wasn't. Um I forgot the name of the artist. Um but I sampled her. You Utara Hikaru? I, I think it is. I think it is. I sampled a part of hers and when I posted my song on there I already knew they're going to say copyright problems, so I couldn't even submit that The song. Sanctuary song? Yeah, Sanctuary. That's what Sanctuary. That's what it was. And I, I love that song, and I chopped it up. I used to skate to that song a lot. Mm-hmm. I chopped I even skated to it to myself. I made a skate video on my Instagram to promote it. Like, But it wouldn't let me post it because it was like copyright issues because I didn't mix it as good to make sure they didn't know. Come with your own shit. Yeah, Look in the joint and BMI music. Hold on, I heard a BMI. Actually, hold on, I heard a BMI. I don't know nothing about that. I stick to hair. All right, y'all. So we, this is gonna be the last video before we take a a brief intermission. So we can go get some food so I can give y'all the rest baby. of these videos. Ooh, I do have a beat for y'all that's new. I started on. I got. Don't I, nobody want to hear it until the shit done. So okay, make it I'm, happen. I'm, I'm just saying. I dusted off my keys and all y'all. I have a. I made it Amazon type beat. Legit. I use the sounds that we use with our scanners and shit to make the beat. So. Y'all well, know. make the shit happen. This is a banger already. I'm telling y'all. It's about done. Once I finish it. It better be dope. You know, I feel like she kind of out of practice. I'm not. I'm t- If anything, when people don't realize, you take a break, you need that mental break. Because when you come back, you come back harder as fuck. And I, I did. I was like, yo, this No, I'm sick. not allowing you to pump me full of bullshit. Don't even do that. Don't even do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, you done? Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Hello, you. YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a hey, returning viewer, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be all about reasons why you should not sister lock. And now, once I read off two, three, four, five of these <laughs> off my list, and you're thinking to yourself, ooh, I don't know if I can do that, then, honey, this I journey you, may Misha, not be you for already you. Know you. So, said, well, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in hearing more about, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing we need to discuss is definitely going Don't to be the financial commitment to you. sister so locks in particular. Sister too. locks are the most expensive form of lock. And I mean, honey, you're going to be dishing out money the whole process, okay? Your install is going to be literally an investment. So, you're talking about paying upwards of $1,000 um, just because at this point, most consultants are charging between 800 and 1,000 just for four inches of hair. Okay, so if you have longer hair and you're not wanting to cut it, you're talking about even more on top of that 1,000. So the <laughs> initial install is one thing to consider, but that is not all you have to consider. Your reties will be a monthly expense that you have to factor in, okay? My reties um, run on average about 135, okay? And that is just going to depend on how long I went before I had my retie because That's they're charging it? you per hour. So you're also going to have to take into consideration that inflation is real, okay? Hmm? What are these? Reties right now with 35. Yeah, sister they- locks. Okay, I was about to say, yeah, sister locks. Okay, okay <laughs> so I always get this question, sister locks, micro locks, what's the difference? Sister locks is done through a sister loctician who is certified in the system of sister locks. Micro locks is basically you DIYing and nigga rigging the shit <laughs> and just doing your own thing with just super tiny locks. All right, great. It's gonna be like ten. Years. I mean, I'm always down to sell my beats. You know, whoever wants. Yeah, maybe two hundred dollars. I just don't. So have you're a talking about a real monthly you expense, sister you know, lock, just like but a cell phone. Mm, you have to look at I this as a long game. Okay, mini financially, locks. 
it's something that you're and going to have she to actually calmed hers out me personally so. Okay. After she I'm was done with that, I was done with it. Yes, you can go take the course on how to self retie so you don't have that expense. But for me, time is also money. I don't have a day to commit to retie my hair, nor do I have the arm strength, nor do I have the patience or the skill. So for me personally, it will always be an expense. Now, the second thing you, you need to consider yeah. <laughs> is the oh, condition shit. of your scalp and hair currently. If your hair is severely damaged, if you have real scalp issues, excessive dandruff, flaking, inflammation, you should not be getting sister locks until you have those things resolved. And I say that because a lot of times when we get these in the start, it exacerbates scalp issues because you're not able to put a lot of products on your scalp to soothe, you know, any issues. Certain medications you're not going to be able to put in your hair. So you've got to get those scalp issues taken care of by either first speaking with a psychologist or a dermatologist to see if this is something okay that you can eventually get under control or if sister locks is really going to be a viable option for you. These are not for everyone. So you can't lie to yourself and say, you know, I have to like literally get in my hair with a big comb, scrape my scalp. Is that her scalp? And expect for this stuff not to like really get embedded in your locks. Your locks are not going to be healthy. We already have enough to combat as far as the length, you know, the sweat, the little things that already get in these. And you're talking about lots of extra particles and dandruff and dirt getting lodged in there. If you have a seriously flaky, unhealthy scalp, these are not going to be for you. Okay, now, if you are not a patient person, you really want to reconsider having sister locks. Patience is going to be key, okay? And so I'm not gonna like talking the about tips. the install. The install my install was 40 hours, okay? I've never had my patients tested as I did with the install. Yes, box braids, yes, micro braids, they take hours. We're used to committing a whole day, but try committing 10 to 12 hours four days in a row where you're just sitting there, okay? You're sitting there and someone is working on your head from sunup to sundown. It is serious patience that this journey requires and not only after the install, your are every charge. month, you're gonna have to be in Shit. someone's seat getting your hair retied. Now understand, the length of your retie time is going to vary greatly depending on your consultant. I say this because I work with two uh, locticians now, okay? So my normal primary loctician has been doing sister locks for I think over a decade now. So she's very fast, um, skill level very high. I'm in and out within about two and a half hours at the most with her. When I go to see my other consultant, she is a lot newer to being a sister locks consultant. So when I'm there with her, I have to allot six hours, you know, um, for these 534 locks that I wanted. <laughs> so keep that in mind. If you're not one that is going to sit there and get your hair retied on a monthly basis, then these may not be for you. Hold on. I'm a, little I'm a little concerned about this person doing it in two hours. Like, how clean are they doing these retires? Because... I I retwisted twisted Henny's micro locks the other day. That shit, she got five hundred and like eighty locks. That shit took her like six, seven hours. So she got micro locks now. Yeah. I didn't know that. I haven't seen Henny in a minute. That's why. Let me show you a picture. <laughs> yeah, that that was not. I want you to see nothing. You ain't supposed to see. I don't want you to see nothing. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, mm -hmm. but she she that. got a lot of hair. I know. So. Yeah, she said she. That's what she wanted. Okay. She tried to put braids in her highly, her locks. That shit was a wrap. I knew it wasn't gonna last. So when your consultant says your retie's are needed every four or five weeks, they mean your reties must be done every four to five weeks. This is all gonna depend on how fast your hair grows out. Um, what happens with shed hairs with locks? They either slip out or they stay in the locks. That's what makes it locks. And the density texture, all that stuff is taken into consideration when they give you a retie schedule in the beginning. In the beginning, you're you gonna get a lot of shedding and slipping out of strands. Locks snapping um, and breaking off. Like I said, for the most part, locks. your locks are like a conveyor like belt, it's not like and it's they will continually grow out with the locks. Other lock styles, but and not particularly is. sister locks. Um, if you okay. are a product junkie, okay, this this shampoo, maybe a little bit of oil if it's allowed, okay. You are not putting products in this. I, I get so many questions from people about well, what products do you use to curl your. Nothing. This is the natural state of my hair. You can't. So put this this is why some... this is why people's hair with locks are able to grow like to the floor if they allow it to. Like 
And this is why some people, they'll comb out their locks and they'll only retain a certain amount of the length because no matter how long you protect the style, your hair will only grow to whatever length it's meant to grow and then it will shed. So, yeah. Look, so whatever your hair is doing, however it's forming locks. I always get a lot of questions like, about locks. What you're going to be Where do y'all be at when I be doing my lock retwist? Fully lock. Right. Maybe I don't be and live. So Maybe y'all don't, don't be live. I ain't gonna lie, because like, I be telling you know, her, but ask him like. Face. I may hate it. I don't know. <laughs> so it's just something you're going to have to roll with. And again, enjoy the journey. Okay, if you are addicted to new styles, color, all that stuff, like you really may want to reconsider. You're not going to be able to color your hair uh, until your hair reaches a certain level of locking. I colored my hair before. Yeah. I decided to do my install and I haven't touched it as far as color since. I won't be able to, nor do I really intend to. Um, I just wanted it colored beforehand so that as it grows really long, I'll have like, you know, a few highlights on the tips. I don't plan to keep up color. If you're the type of person who loves to go from blonde to black to red to pink to green, these may not be for you. Uh, right, right. Consistently coloring, more so bleaching your locks is going to be detrimental to your locks. Now, if you have in your mind that you don't care um, it's about the length, you may be able to keep it platinum, okay? But again, that's gonna come with the waiting no. period. You are not able to color your no, hair. No, yo, she gonna thin the, the fuck out. Right now, if I wanted to color my hair, it would be ill-advised because none of my ends have locked, okay? I'm locking toward, you know, the root, as you can see, but this is going to take some time to lock and color, as we know, kind of relaxes that hair um, to the core. So it's going to change Retwist the texture. It's going my to hair locks, the, please. Um, the propensity for my hair to lock. If you, you know, love to do wigs. Or what do you do, say to people uh, who say shit hair, hair is dirty? Christian, what's do, up, Christian? You know, I've friends, never heard that. Do things, <laughs> that's my listen. Girl, girlfriend. Yes, these converse. If you change your comb, mind, so though, will the teeny tiny, tiny locks so break off? Or can you make them thicker later on in life? Sister locks may not be for you, sis, okay? Um, so, this next point that is going I don't to go back to that I mentioned before. If you cannot manage and be consistent, you really may want to rethink sister locks. You have to be consistent with the wash, okay? You have to be consistent she has sister with going locks. through, making sure that your locks are not marrying. You have to be consistent with whatever your consultant is telling you to do. And most importantly, like I said, is it retie schedule? If you have a job where you're traveling month to month and you don't know what next month is gonna look like, you really need to reconsider just because if you're on a four week schedule, you cannot stress it out to eight weeks. Eventually it's going to be detrimental Hola. to your lock <laughs> health up, and process. Hey, if you are a control freak and you are not okay with putting the integrity of your hair into someone else's hands, you may want to rethink getting your hair sister locked. I say that because you're probably not gonna be the one installing your hair. Most of us are not the ones retying our hair. Though many people do take the class, they do the self reties, the vast majority of people are relying on someone else to keep their just hair maintained. Keep, keep so that is a big thing that I personally had to grapple with. I, for so many years, um, maintained my own hair. I prefer retwisting over retying. So that so I could just, difference? you know, be I, in charge of the health of I get twist. So when, you know how you have new growth and you can stick your finger in it? Mm hmm So what they do is they take the lock and pass it through the new growth. So they'll take the end and loop it through the new growth, pull it through, and do it at different angles and things mm -hmm. until it basically builds up the inner lock up to the roots. So, yeah, it literally takes longer than just retying. Re that's retwisting, re yeah. So that's why she's saying you don't want to go like eight weeks because that's more new growth, yeah. more time for each lock, more more money. So, yeah. Yeah, they're basically right they're basically interlocking. Um, I've I don't know like their method and means of doing it, but they're basically inter interlocking. I'm sure they have some system about how they go about doing it, whether it's a four point, three point rotation. I don't know, but it's all re like it's all um, interlocking. It's of my hair, which is very important Ooh. to me. But when I got here, I had to do that. So you taking the Brian time to find a consultant that you really, really Close trust and that really takes care of your hair is going to be a big part of your success. Can sister locks be retwisted? Okay. Another thing you um, mm, Well, sister locks aren't really meant to be retwisted. They're meant to be sister locked and interlocked. So I guess if you retwist it, it wouldn't be sister locks anymore, technically. It would be micro locks, but um, yeah, Henny gets her micro locks retwisted. You may want to consider if you 
cannot handle micro um another person who used to retwist y'all always have all these questions about lies mm-hmm. it's, it's it's fascinating to me another person who used to retwist her micro locks is um alicia james um, she has since combined her some of her micro locks um, to more just smaller locks, um, and I think I kind of had something to do with that <laughs> because um, I think we were watching someone like Tykera Ann on YouTube, and I think I said something along the lines of "If you're not enjoying your hair, then what's the point?" Because Tykera, she has just been stressed. Do I combine locks? No, I don't. Um, she has been stressed trying to retighten and keep her hair on her head and keep her locks from breaking. And I was like, um, yeah, if you ain't enjoying it and you that stressed out about your hair, it ain't worth it, sis. Like, you either need to combine, cut it off, or do something else. But your situation with your hair ain't for you. So I think she... Um, took heed to that and was like, yeah, you know, maybe all these locks that I put in my head isn't ideal for me. And so she went to, now she goes to a professional loctician who does a really great job, by the way. And um, she got some of her locks combined and now um, she's definitely still enjoying her journey. She's on Instagram as well. She definitely posts and shares on Instagram. I don't know if she has a link to it or not. Uh, I don't want to put her link out there if she ain't got it out there. Okay, she does. Um, so if you want to maybe ask her, get her perspective on that, y'all can definitely do that on her Instagram. <laughs> um, I just say that because I'm not really particularly, um experienced in micro locks i understand the process and i understand you know what it takes to to maintain and do it but for the most part i don't like do it on the regular i i've never lived with it and like she has a a deeper perspective than i can offer so what do you think about the new locking with the the needle i don't know i don't i don't know what you're talking about i cannot (laughs) handle if it works, it works. Whatever you look, you may want to rethink it. You have no idea what these are going to look like in the beginning. It's going to be an awkward phase for so many people to the point where people just flat out will make you feel unattractive. Okay. Now I never experienced that, but if you hear many stories of people's sister lock journeys, they definitely experience that. Um, people are going to assume that these are braids. So when they ask you, you know, how long are you keeping those? When are you taking them out? Those are questions you're going to get asked because most people don't know what these are. Yeah. Though they are becoming more mainstream, they don't know. Even black people. Like, I get questions all the time, like, like you know, like, yeah. like, like what's those? Like, is it, um, <laughs> fake it? Like, they don't know what's going on. So, even within our own community, you're going to have to do a lot of explaining. So, can if you're you not unlock confident them? Yeah, I'm sure you can, like, but who, hey, who's going to take like, that time to do that? I've had micro locks. My ex did it. I had, like, over... It may not be. There's people on YouTube that have do done it. So if you want to so look that up, you can definitely look that up. We watched a couple people too. Like Just depending on where you are in your journey, like that, um, it was your hair is going to consistently change. Like she These are going to thicken up. Like they little, will later constrict for mm-hmm. hours. I have no it idea. Was, it was harder what to take it out though. Like in the end, it was harder. Yeah, because it mats up. It starts locking more easily. I had to help her. I had to take one section. Watch you one section. Like I need your help with this. You no, you need. That's why I don't. That's why. I don't do them crazy styles on people. She's just going to see. Yeah, you know, it's like it's fun. But I, I be thinking about the the after. I wish I had that picture of me with it because I would have showed y'all. Because it looked nice. It was like cool, like hers, like just like hers, but tight. It's this twist. Woman next beside you. I'm telling you, in the end, your sister locks are going to look nothing alike. You can have your hair crushes. You will definitely use it as a protective style for growth and unlock when they're long. Um, technically, you could, but a lot of people tend to damage their hair when they take it out. So you have no um, idea what your hair is going to look like down the road. That is one of the reasons why I decided to get them because I love that my locks will look like no one else's locks. And she done. I love my locks. I love my locks. What don't you like about it? Um. How it bends up in the back, but that's 
Ew. That's like the only thing that I really don't like about it. But uh, once it hangs more, it won't do that. But, hey, Ryder, I'm in the A till Tuesday. Hey. But I'm in the awkward phase where it's like sitting right on my shoulder, so it tends to. Just yeah, once move. it once it gets past there, <laughs> yeah. it's probably not gonna bend up. As It'll much. just fall down yeah. my back. But yeah, that's the only thing I will say that's kind of awkward now about my hair. But I love everything about it. Like, <laughs> does it, it hurt when you life. get retwisted? Mm-mm. No, you know. Does it hurt after the fact? No. Does it um, the bleeding of the color that don't annoy you? Okay, that is another two. Um, it's starting to lighten up a little bit. You know, it don't do it as much, but depending if my hair gets wet, it, it will bleed out sometimes. It kind of scared me the first time it happened. I was like, oh, I thought it was me bleeding, y'all. I was in the shower, drying off. I looked at the towel. I said, bitch, I'm looking at my body like, hold on. I'm, I'm not on my period. I'm not on the rag. Wait. <laughs> it scared Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, bitch. I had to go to hell. I was like, cry. Is it is it natural for my hair to be doing? He said, I thought yeah. I told you no. it was gonna bleed. Never, we were on that trip in um Tennessee. That's when it happened. The first time. That's when I first got. Oh, hair. that's right. That's right. And I, t- I had to wash my hair because we were out. She in never the woods. had hair color, yeah. y'all. I never she, had hair color, so. Um, can combining <laughs> rec locks? It depends on how it's combined and how your locks are the foundation. Um, sometimes people have to go and repart, redistribute hair. So it just it all depends. Um, everyone's head is different, and not everyone has a good foundation for combining, so there's no general answer. And maybe I should have did what she did, dye my hair before doing that. Maybe, Why? Maybe the, the bleeding? Maybe her hair would have bleeded then, instead of the blood. I didn't know. I just thought maybe. <laughs> That's just something that comes with semi-permanent color. All semi-permanent color bleeds. It bleeds and it fades. Permanent. I was kind of surprised to see the permanent kind of bleed a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I know it bleeds a little bit, but it bleed it bled a little more than I anticipated. But I actually like the faded look of it now. Like people, oh. people be like, "Oh, I like your hair color." I'd be like, "Really? It's a little dusty now." I just told. <laughs> I actually just. I actually just posted a video of your hair. Um, me washing it. Remember, I was recording. Yeah, and people were like, "I was getting comment." It was like your hair color. I was like, "It looks a little dusty. It's supposed to be a little reddish." Even with her body. Yeah, I was. Like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, even. Um... I like how it's fading. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, because yeah, I was telling, I was like, I'll probably end up retouching it like around yeah. the spring next year. Yeah, but I like the 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 rough look, you know, the the natural. Okay, you yeah, because you said you really didn't want it bright and Hell vibrant no. anyway. And somebody told I was, I told I was like, no, I don't want no bright. I said I like how your it blends in with the natural roots. I said, yeah, I wanted that. I somebody said I can't get locks because I'm Dominican. You can't get locks if you are Dominican and you. Get Dominican blowouts on your hair all the time. <laughs> you have to. It helps to have a natural curl pattern, and if you straighten your hair most of the time, chances oh, are you don't locks. have a curl pattern to help the locks form. Uh, I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying it's going to be more difficult and maybe more costly and take more time, but it can be done. Bro, back when I had the afro, bro, bro. Women. I feel like red permanent shades always be a little more. Which is funny because they stain the hair more than any other damn color. I got the shades on. Look, look at this. <laughs> look at it. Uh, do the whole three sixty and that bit. I like that. See, it still shines. And I saw like yeah, it looks. Blue. It looks. It, it definitely looks good in this, and that's why I wanted to go outside and get mm-hmm. the. Because sometimes the light just doesn't. Because you can definitely see mm-hmm. it's. Even like someone was like, the color is fading from the shampoo. I'm like, it's still there. Yeah, it's still like, there. I like. I like the faded, the faded look. Looks more. So, do you want to grow it out into like an ombre? Yeah, that's an ombre. Where you have black roots in the color. Yeah, that's basically what I got going on right yeah, now. Yeah, I figured that. Okay, somebody asked. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have Take thoughts on permanent lock extensions. It's just what whatever works for you. I don't do it. I don't really care for it, but that's the just me. With the skull cap. Do you have to use a special shampoo? Nah. They got all this color shampoo and color safe shampoo. I just use conditioning shampoo. It's all the damn same. Ooh, what are we going to eat? We're about to go now. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. We need to go. <laughs> all right, so, um, yes, thank you all so much for watching. I know we got some more requests to do. 
We gonna do that when I get back. Okay. <laughs> we get back. We're gonna we're gonna run and get some food. Thank y'all so much. Um, let me see who's coming up next. Uh, I believe. Let me do a count of all the videos we have to do. All right. So that was the last um cash app. So let me see. We got Kim Fraz. We got Bailey's request. Winter. Savannah, Chocolatita, Call Me Joey, I Ate Your Sandwiches, Dominique, Smile and Shine, and Nick Knack, <laughs> 87, 86. 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, 5, 6, so 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, we got 10 videos to do when we get back. So there will be a part two to this. If you're up late, we'll be here. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. And we'll see you soon. Be, be blessed. blessed.